Live from New York, it is Monday Night Live. That's not as good as Saturday Night Live. I'm here with Liz. She flew all the way in from Miami to help me give away. We're going to give away 1000 bucks. Somebody's going to get also access to the $10,000 giveaway. We're talking about how to sell on Amazon and partner with the richest man in the world on his site. Oh, we're, you're not just holding the Beats. We're going to give away Beats by Dre, too, so you can listen to podcasts, learn how to... Instead of just, well, you can listen to music too. But so, Liz, let's just talk about this. You started, or six years ago, right? Right, six years ago. Last month, how much did you do on Amazon? Because you have different business, but your own personal Amazon business. Five hundred four thousand. Five hundred four thousand dollars last month, not last year. And then, how much was net roughly? Twenty percent after all my expenses. So a hundred, a hundred grand. That's pretty good. Okay, let me get my comments here. I got to look at my. Can you pull up my little? Yep. So we're gonna go into this. Pay close attention because we're gonna go into. You don't have to keep holding it. Oh. We'll give it. We'll give it. I don't want to show <laughs> I you. I was, I was actually gonna run out of here with these. You're gonna run away. Yeah, I'm just kidding. You made enough money. You can buy your own beats. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go through the actual strategies you can use to sell things on Amazon. But more importantly, we were talking about Liz just recorded. How many videos do you record? I actually, 30. 30, wow. 30 videos. For those of you in the e-com agency, I launched that last about 10 days ago. So this is how you walk into businesses and say, hey, for a thousand bucks a month, I'll manage all your physical products. I'll put them online on e-commerce. And now we have the new module, 30 lessons on how to get businesses up here. Because you don't only have to sell your own products, right? No, you can do a lot of things. Like There's like, literally, I can think of seven different ways you can do Amazon. Yeah, because yeah. you do, you sell your own products like kitchen stuff, doing 500 grand, but you also have an agency too that does work for biz other businesses. Right, it's a, primarily a PPC agency, so we focus on just doing the paid ads on Amazon. Yeah, and we're gonna talk about that because there's 300, look, look at this, let me write this in. Where's a little marker here, Josh, let me get a second. Guess how many products Jeff Bezos, richest man in the world, is selling? It's pretty insane. I need the Amazon one, that's the one I want. The, I mean the Instagram phone. Okay. Check this out. Tell me if I'm right. Last I checked, it's 330 million products are on Amazon. That's insane. Yeah, and you know what even more insane, Ty, is an average of 306 products sell every second. That's what it is? 306 products. 306 sales a second. By the way, that's a great way to become the richest person in the world. You can sell on Amazon, you can sell on Shopify, you can sell on your own site, um, but I wanna specifically talk about this. Someone said, love your courses. Somebody said, Ty's e-commerce course is so good. Amazon t-shirts, you can sell t-shirts. Ty, is this live? Yes, this is what we call it. Someone said Amazon FBA. Um, do you have the Amazon, the Instagram phone? Let me pull this up. It's loading. All right. We got 700 people live on Instagram right now. Someone said you could sell anything on. Help a broke college girl to see one of your talks. Well, you are watching one of the talks right now. You mean in person, live? This is the living room here. Let's just jump into this. Let's pick a rent. Somebody shout out what you think is the best product. We're going to be the judges right now. We're going to give away some money. What is the best opportunity, be specific, to sell something on Amazon? There's no exact one right answer. What do we got? Who's got something? Someone and, said a great t-shirts. And you know what's crazy? Earlier we saw a product and I demonstrated a product that made over a hundred million dollars selling on Amazon. What was it? Are you allowed the, to say? The Instant Pot. The Instant Pot, a hundred million bucks. It's like the new infomercial. Okay. Yeah, hundred million dollars. Someone said, so you're going to be the judge because you're the expert here. Mini fridge, um, iPhone chargers. Somebody wrote the word consistency. Yes, that's a great thing to sell on Amazon, consistency. What would that be? That's like esoteric. Chargers, a cat bed, hair extensions, <laughs> jewel pods, mug life, gym gear, microwaves, air fryers, mouse plank trap. What the heck is that? Like a pirate trap for mice? You make them walk. The, you gotta walk the plank. You've been eating my food. Jewelry, jewelry or jewelry? <laughs> I'm assuming 
<laughs> that are okay. We won't. We won't go there. Uh, customizable circuit board kits. What is that? Does anybody know? I'm gonna guess that probably not the hottest seller on Amazon is probably not customizable circuit kits. What do you think about selling niche products? Do you like to go super niche or like a little more broad? You know, like my top selling product, one of the reasons it does so well is because it's very seasonal. Okay. In a way, and during Christmas, it just crushes it. So toys, is toys yeah, good to sell? Toys is great. It's a seasonal item, so you really have to understand that all year wrong, all, all year round, you can crank it out a little bit, and all of a sudden, Christmas time, your sales can be like 13 times. Yeah. So you have to be prepared from an inventory perspective. Okay. But they're very easy to actually sell. You can get in on hot trends. Like uh, one of the ways that I had that million dollar month on Amazon. She did a million dollar in one month. Profitably? It wasn't just. Oh, no, no. It was profitably. Yeah. It was very profitably. And the reason for that was, if you remember Frozen, mm -hmm. Anna, Elsa, Olaf. Yeah. Like I was getting sticker earrings that I was picking up in actual retail stores for 99 cents. Okay. I was selling them for 1995. It was just that much on fire. And I was selling like a thousand per day. By the way, a little preview. We're working on an Amazon course. So right now we just recorded lessons for how to do Amazon services for other businesses. Coming soon from Miami, we're gonna be filming, but this is this might be a little while away. So um, for those of you who are in the e-com program, we're gonna put a link up. If you didn't get in my e-com agency program, by the way, you know how long it took to get our first testimonial in the e-com agency? How quick? We launched it, I think, I think it was three days. One person was 17 years old, got a $700 a month client. Wow. We had, we had to talk to his mom, like, we haven't <laughs> gotten the release from his mom to put his picture up yet. He's like, oh, I don't know if my mom will let me talk about this. Um, yeah, I keep my testimonials. So, this stuff is working. The best way to make money, by the way, when you're starting out, is not to do your own products because you got to have some inventory. Do stuff for other businesses; they'll pay you. Okay, we got we got to pick somebody for hundred bucks. Let's see. Yeah, I, I got to be honest. Toothpaste. Every single... Somebody just wrote water, 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 water. Maybe they thought they'd better <laughs> chance of winning if they said water. All these actual times. products sell is the crazy lingerie, thing. thin. <laughs> these are too suspicious. Uh, specific. Somebody said thin wooden Christmas cards. Are there thick wooden Christmas cards and you wanted to specify <laughs> that it's a much better opportunity? Or do you mean like, I don't even know what that means. Hickey sticks. I think you mean hockey because they put a kick. <laughs> what is up with people spelling today? Hickey sticks and thin. <laughs> those do not win. I give those um, coat hangers. Would coat you hangers, make money with something like that? Coat hangers sell insanely well. Okay, like so you we're can't sending imagine. 100 bucks to... This is Logan.Ritter. Your idea is nominated. Logan.Ritter. You know what I'll do, too, is I'll screenshot them. So if you write it down, Yusef, on a piece of paper, then you can grab the screenshot here. Logan Ritter, I'm going to send you. You know, I gave away so much money that PayPal restricted my account. This is the second time. When you wow. start giving people, like, one time I was doing a live stream, and I was like, I'm going to give $5,000 right now, $100 at a time. $300 in, I get an email from... PayPal, we think you're spamming. And I'm going, yeah, I am spamming, but in a good way. Somebody wrote condoms. Not condoms, but condoms. What about bathroom stuff like that, household stuff? Do you like that? Yeah, like there's a lot of people that, I have a friend that does bed sheets, okay. and he does a million dollars a year just with one skew. Like it's bed sheets. Huh. So like, like organic. It's just like cotton sheets. It's not even organic. It's just like a standard bed sheet. Huh. I've I've another uh, set of friends that do a pillow and they do a million dollars a year with a pillow. A million dollar, eighty thousand a month with pillows. Pillow. Partner with the richest person in the world. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a million dollars a month. A month, but yeah. even a year. By the way, this is not get rich quick. We're not promising everybody's gonna earn instantly do this. She's been doing it for six years. So if you try to learn this on your own, it takes a while. That's yeah. why I had her come up here. Liz was very nice and recorded 30 lessons. My sales people, I mean my video people were like, this lady's a machine. <laughs> you got a lot of it's energy. A, yeah, I do, I do. It's just, it's, it's Miami. It's the, it's the, uh, the excitement to get out of the cold. 
There we go. Weight loss products. What do you think of that? Let's Wait. pick one more person. Weight loss products always sell well, but they're also hard to rank because there's so much actual love. Uh, yeah, so a little too competitive, you think? Yeah, I wouldn't start that as a beginner. I'd pick something like... Uh, Organic toothpaste or mouthwash, bracelets, non-plastic biodegradable like, you know, water bottles. Somebody mentioned like, Amazon Echo, like Alexa stuff. I bet you there's a pretty big market for Alexa um, accessories. Okay. I like that, like you said, like selling like a movie... You sell frozen, memor uh, not memorabilia, but stickers of Elsa, and people love Olaf frozen. Olaf, and yeah. I, I, I got Do so tired trouble of that with snowman. Like Disney? That was like five years ago or six years ago that this happened. So at right. the time, you could do it. Now, right. Disney is one of the restricted categories in Amazon. So, like, that's one of the things that I've always talked about, Ty, is people shouldn't wait. Like, now is the time. And right now, Amazon Agency, which we're talking about doing things for other people, is super hot like it's just very easy to start this with nothing somebody said they did 10k last month with funeral products do what do you sell urns maybe like um in meet the fuckers <laughs> and he's like <laughs> i love that remember that that is the greatest thing and he's like jack that has the remains of my grandmother or whatever <laughs> i re have you have you rewatched that movie have you seen that I, it's been a while Watch, since I watched meet that. The far, lift the cameras up a teeny bit so the view's a little higher. Okay. Weight loss snack bars. Somebody just wrote, I am the greatest quarterback of all time. You should have a t shirt and that you should sell that on What about t shirts on Amazon? Like custom made, like some cool little trend that you say, like Paris Hilton a long time ago was like, what was hers? That's hot. And Donald Trump had your fired. Like, do you think stuff like that could sell? Well, I, I got to tell you this. I'll tell you the craziest T-shirt that I've ever sold on Amazon was a solar eclipse with a unicorn dabbing and a couple cats dabbing to hide themselves from the eclipse. And that one made $10,000 in sales in a month. I, I did that through Amazon Merch, so it's another way you can sell on Amazon. Okay. So tell us, tell us about, let's talk about Amazon Merch. What do people need to know? So on Amazon Merch, what you basically can do is you can sign up for a free Amazon Merch account and all you need is to upload designs and they're pretty much for sale on Amazon. So you make a design, you can outsource it. I would outsource mine in the Philippines mm -hmm. and I would pick like hot topics mm -hmm. and then just have them kind of replicate the other shirts that we're selling and add another twist on them and then throw them up there. And like I stopped doing that because I really didn't enjoy it that much. It wasn't mm -hmm. a business that I enjoyed. and. To this day, from the designs that I still uploaded, last month I got a thousand in royalties, thousand dollars in royalties. So just like passive income, just, just like running. passively, yeah. By the way, you wanna for the if you did not get in the ecom agency, you've already we've already raised the price twice, but I still I have it open right now for this live call because a lot of people are gonna call and email my office. Let me put the link up. The link is in the um, depending if you're watching YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, we'll pin the comment. You don't have to get in, but we've already raised the price. Thousands of people got in the first day. So I tell people, you got to get in early because the more people that do it, the more competitive it becomes. Nothing works forever. So go here. I don't know if they can see this. What's the link? Does anybody know? It should be in there somewhere. Yep. It is uh, tylobas.com slash forward slash ecom. Ecom. Ecom agency live, right? Yep. Ecom agents, three words, tylopez.com slash ecom agency live. Or if you just go to tylopez.com, can we put it, make sure it's on the header of tylopez.com? It's called ecom agency. This is how to build an agency. You'll be learning 30 new lessons. We already have, you're the third teacher in the pro, or fourth teacher in the program. She's teaching the Amazon module. The price, go look at how cheap we've got this. I've, you know, have different price products. I want people to get on this trend. I was telling you, like, there's a lot of Amazon stuff. They charge $3,500 to $5,000 to train you. I was like, I want to help people who hardly have any money, people on minimum wage, people, you know, living in, in low-income housing. This is a great way out of where you are is to learn how to go to businesses, do any Build your little e-com agency. We'll teach you how to do it, how to form a little company. It's not hard. You just need a laptop and the internet. You could be a single mom. You could be unemployed. You could be 18. You could be 80. Like I said, the first testimony was from somebody who was not even 18. They had to get their mom's permission to like, but they got a client paying them $700 a month to get their products up on Amazon and Shopify. We have other people teaching Shopify, Joe Soto's in there teaching. 
Okay, somebody put a very bizarre thing. This guy said he is making $10,000 a month. Do you believe this? He was selling air conditioning unit covers, some kind of cover. I believe it. I, you can't imagine. Does weird stuff like that sell? Absolutely. All sorts of weird stuff. Yeah, because I guess at 300 Look, Rick, look how many products are on Amazon now. Amazon, uh, Adam, look up. Because last time I checked, it was $330 million. It's probably way more than that. Someone said organic face shave products. Do you this, just mean shave? Because usually that means face shave, <laughs> men shave. This actual uh, student of mine before used to sell these like faucet things for like the hose and they made oh. $7,000 in their first month. Oh, let's hear. Here we go. This is not right. This says 12 million. Oh, here you go. Down here. The first result after this weird one says Amazon has 562 million products as of January 10th. Let's just look at some things and what you would do because in the program, here you go. Clothing, shoes, and jewelry. This is according to Scrape Hero. Don't know if this is perfect. This is the internet. It could be wrong. The internet says my net worth is five million. Things can be wrong on the internet, but let's just assume this is right. Clothing, shoes, and jewelry, massive. You do 500,000 a month live in home and kitchen. Look at that, books. I love that. Anybody, sometimes people go, I don't need to read. I'm like, Richest man in the world not only reads books, but he has 53 million products around books on his own website. Electronics, sports, wait, don't mess with the resolution here. Uh, cell phones, collectibles, and fine art. 16 million products, jeez. So all you artists should be doing this. Um, let's, go, let's go to Amazon real quick, just open a new tab. Let's just pick a product. What, what, how about coat hangers? What are people, if someone wanted to do coat hangers, where, what should we click on? Let's do a little competitive analysis well, with Liz I can here. tell you right away that this is like super competitive. Yep. And the reason for that, I can tell you, is you see Amazon basics on here. So like what Amazon really does really well, and this is I'm why Jeff, Jeff is trying to take over the world, is that what they do is they have all the data, right? Yep. So he takes a look at all the data and he knows what products sell best. Yep. And then he goes and he creates private label brands behind those. So I think to date he has over 150 private label brands, but he sells things like toilet paper. Yeah. Like, I don't know if people actually know that. So like he looks at all that and I think he sells like printer paper okay. and crazy things like that, puppy pads. And he just takes all the data and he creates brands. So I can tell you right away. Would you stay away from something that I, I Amazon would. basics? I would because of the okay. fact of how many they actually have. Like if you look at this, they just dominate the whole first page. So it's going to be difficult. Even hanger eyes right here. Um, <laughs> Somebody put, Ty knows nothing about Amazon FBA. That's right. That's why I surround myself with people smarter than me. People are dumb. They, people think that to get make money, you have to know everything. Well, there's another thing you can do, which is just know people who know things. It's a lot more chill. I don't have to teach the Amazon program. I'm not a know-it-all. The things I know, I know well. And the things that I don't know, I surround myself with smart people. Your network is your net worth. Don't forget that. So, Mr. Smarty Pants that said that, I bet your net worth is garbage. So there you go. That's my answer to you. Because <laughs> anybody don't have the brain power to realize that nobody knows anything. If you ever see somebody online saying they know everything about business, they're idiots. Trust me. Okay. Somebody asked if you were single. No, unfortunately I'm not, no. Do you say unfortunately? It's just kidding. About <laughs> that. She's married, so I said fortunately I'm not. Oh, fortunately you're not. Yeah. Okay. Um, but you got fans. You have already Amazon groupies. <laughs> you got Amazon groupies. Her phone number is I should set up a nine hundred number that I get paid. Just we'll just record a few voice things in there. Yes. Nine hundred nine 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 Amazon. Um she listened. Somebody said, you got burned by Ty. Ha, ha, ha. I wasn't trying to burn the guy. I was just kind of, this guy's stupid. People go, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not burning people. Just, hey, there's a lot of stupid people. That's how the game is. You can't fix stupid in life. Baskets for clothes and trash cans. What about that? Let's, let's yeah. go to trash can. Those Again, actually sell well. Let's see if Amazon, if Jeff Bezos has taken this over. Trash cans. 
This, you're going to see Simple Cuban Human. Mark Cuban told me he sold trash bags. Simple Human are dominating this. So Simple and Human look and at basics. Amazon basics. So we're going to stay away from that. Let's find, come on, people. Give me something. Well, I can tell you the, the, the actual product we, a couple of the product we looked at in the, the, the things we shot today, the videos. Yep. Um, one of them was Eyelash Growth Serum. I think if they pull that one up, I can actually tell people Let's some do numbers. It. Eyelash, we're giving away free information. We've got paid program if you want to go through. We have a quick start 10-day version to get you started. We also have a four-month certification, but we're giving away free stuff. Go here for the 10-day or the four-month program. So one of these actual eyelash growth serums was making $795,000 a month. Who wants to make $795,000 a month? It was insane. Find these people, push them off a cliff, take over their business, ultimate business plan. And uh, the other product that was crushing it that we actually like chose as the product that we were going to build yep. on the actual agency thing was 4D Lash Mascara. Four, can you pull up 4D Lash? And we should actually show them the membrane. Do you remember that? Yeah. The membrane lash mascara? Yeah. Somebody said, saying what e -com agency is. Yeah, you go to businesses and you do this for them. Ethan Shamer on Instagram Live says this isn't live. On so Instagram yeah, Live. these guys were making about eighty to $100,000 a month. And you Ford, can see, right here. yeah, some the of them are really terrible. Um, so I don't let's remember look who in this. What would you train somebody? What are you training people in the program to do better? Which one? Do you like this image? It does uh, there not was seem... No, the images are horrible. Like, I mean, let's be real. What woman out there was... <laughs> Hey, who wants to pay $11.77 to get your eyelashes looking like that? You look, it looks like... Spider legs. What is Spider that? legs. Yeah. Looks like spider legs, right? That That's one thing we it learned. It looks like but, I mean, smeared Take a look makeup. at some of these photos. They're horrible. Like, Go click on one of these other... <laughs> look at this one right here. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> this one of the two heads. <laughs> Yeah, like pregnant women. Wait, go back. This is not done by somebody who knows English, by the way. It said pregnant women and children may use. <laughs> so your competitors, by the way, even though I shouldn't laugh. Look this at this, Ty. You're somebody, gonna love this one. That's great. You can have crazy long eyelashes and look like a psycho stalker for only eleven dollars <laughs> and seventy-seven cents. Cold waterproof. What? <laughs> Uh, this is made, I get, well, I shouldn't laugh. This is probably some dude in India who doesn't know English who's making more money than 99% of Americans and he doesn't even know what to write. So he goes, cold waterproof. Well, earlier we looked at one and it said membrane use mascara. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, what kind of membrane is, is uh, are they talking about? Hey, it's all dark on my, did we lose myself on my Instagram? You still see? Oh, okay. Okay, so we won't laugh at people because, like I said, at least these people started. Yeah, some of them are making like thirty, forty thousand dollars a month. And they probably live in like Buenos Aires, Argentina, where thirty grand a month you can't even spend it. Like seriously. I you bet you a, a lot of them are probably from China too. China, like, crazy 30 grand long a month. lashes. Thirty yeah. grand a month's good in America. Imagine what it. All those of you living outside the U.S. This is insane. People always go, I live outside the U.S., I can't make money. I'm like, well, just sell into the U.S. using amazing pictures like this. What is that? Pro that is an insanely weird one, but okay. Yeah, this is very strange. I don't know. Let's look here. Okay, let's take some questions and answers. Somebody is asking for samples of our hair. Are you the person that tried to do that to Hillary Clinton? Remember that? Somebody tried to get her hair. Somebody said, <laughs> weed products and grinders, AirPods, controlling games said, I'm in China, whiteboards with ripoff sheets, cups. The most popular fiction book on Amazon is where the crowd ads sing. Crowd ads, you mean. Weird and strange is good. Okay, how can I market with small population? If you live in a country with a small population, go on Amazon and you instantly have hundreds of millions of potential buyers. This is the thing, wine storage. Okay, let me ask you, somebody asked me this question. At what age did I start changing my thinking from the standard norm? I'm gonna ask you that question. You're the special guest star. What, when do you start thinking differently? You went to college on a, coll on a basketball scholarship, right? Yeah. When did you start realizing like, I don't have to go into the nine to five? I, I think I realized it when I was like six. Really? Yeah, I, I knew it like early on. I, I thought like my, we grew up, we were like the ghetto, we lived in the ghetto. We were, 
we we kind of grew up in El Paso where I think Trump was there for the border wall and the, all that thing. Mm -hmm. And so like we grew up there in the ghetto and I thought it sucked just getting like a dollar allowance a week. And I wanted like big things. So I always knew that. And it was really like hard for me to see so many negative people out there in the world like telling you, oh, you're just a kid from the ghetto. You can't do it. But I would just shut the noise out and say, screw it. I'm going to do it. And I'm tired of getting a dollar a week. That sucked. <laughs> that was worse than wages in China. Or that was worse. You should have just had this eyelash thing going when you were sick. There was no Amazon. Hey. Yeah, no Amazon yet. Sell Obama shirts that mock Trump. They, you think political they sell. stuff do well? Ab absolutely. I have sold some political shirts and they crush. Okay. If you sell fake eyelashes and your customer has an allergic reaction, are you responsible as a seller? Very specific question. Well, Amazon has like a blanket policy, but you're also advised after you reach a certain level to get your own insurance policy to protect yourself. Do you do that? Yes. Okay. Is it super hard to do that? No, it's not hard at all. You can just ask your insurance agent and they have that all the time. Nice. And by that time, you're already making money. Right. See, people are always thinking like what they can do, what can make them not do this or like oh well I could get sued but by the time you're selling enough you can afford you have enough profit to get insurance just start stuff where do you find products so um <clears throat> what's a good way how do you find products do they just come to you while you're like walking around you're in the shower and you have an idea or do you have a system yeah, I have a system that's uh, in place where I can just go on Amazon mm -hmm. and find products. So you have some systems that you go, you find trending things. Right, or I use that software that I was demonstrating inside of uh, the agency. Yeah, we have, it's kind of late here, but all of you who are in the program, um, the Ecom Agency, you go to tylopez.com slash Ecom Agency Live, or you can just click the link wherever you're watching live. Um, she just taught eight hours worth of stuff or seven hours worth of stuff. We're not gonna be able to cover it all. It's impossible. Um, so yeah. Is it legal to sell other people's products on Amazon? What about being an affiliate? Yeah, Amazon affiliate works very well. Yeah. Now you can't, there's a lot of products that have trademarks, so you can't sell it on Amazon. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you could do retail arbitrage. You can go to stores and sell products like that. But there's usually a setting when you try to list it, Amazon will tell you whether or not you can actually list it. Now, mm -hmm. an affiliate is an entirely different thing. Like you built out a site mm -hmm. and you're trying to sell a product like that's reviews. allowed for everything. So you could do reviews of electronics then on mm -hmm. your, I know this because years ago, I don't do this so much, but when I first started, people say, I don't know anything about Amazon. Well, I was making 10 to $20,000 a month with exactly one second of work. I had a book review page. I still have it up. I just don't promote it much anymore. And I would mention it and people, I would make like 10, 20 cents a book. But here's the thing. When people would click, they get cookied by Amazon. This is for that dude who says, I don't know anything about Amazon, okay? <laughs> I know enough to make $10,000 in one second for months and, mo and years. This is starting back like 2014. I put, all I was was an affiliate for other people's Amazon stores. And I would put, it's still there on tylopez.com slash books. I make on average like 10 cents a book you buy, but this was the crazy thing. So you'll never make money like people buying a book, you get 10 cents, but anything they put in their cart on that session. So people, I was like all of a sudden looking and I'm like, I made 50 bucks from one order. And I would look and they had bought a lawnmower for 300 <laughs> bucks and I got like 15 bucks. And then do, do, do. And still to this day without promoting, I'm not sure how, now I don't make 10 grand a month. It's, it, it's not a big part of my income, but it was just funny that I was just, I would get these checks for 10 grand a month. So Amazon affiliate, one thing you could do, and this is, the number one YouTuber, or number two this year, was a seven-year-old kid. Ryan, with it. Ryan's yeah. Toys. Are yeah, Ryan's Toys. He reviewed toys on his YouTube channel. Him and his dad, he would open the box. And then, I don't know how they did it, but one way you could do it is have a link to buy the toy on Amazon. And I'll show you how you, well, you have to, there's a separate portal you log in called for Amazon Affiliate Program. But you basically get a long URL, you type it in, and boom. So another stream of income. There's so many streams of income. Somebody you know, said, what's her, what's your name? Liz. Liz. And you know, going back to Ryan's toys, one of the most popular shirts on Amazon right now is the, I think it's the shark. Do, Let's pull do, it up. Do, 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 do. Have you guys ever heard that? Shark. Do, 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 do. 
It's yeah. a video or a shirt? He did a video on his YouTube channel. It's like Baby Shark, do, 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 or something like that. That shirt is making a ton of money <laughs> right now. Baby Shark, do, 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 video. Do, do, do shirt. There See? it is. Do, do shirt. Is that what it Yeah, is? yeah. Baby Shark, do, do, shirt. The big difference between do, 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 and do, do. Well, I think like that people just type. They don't know what to type, so they just write. See? Daddy Shark. Hey, Rick, you want a do, do shirt? No, thanks. I'm good. I feel like you are. are. There you go. These, these shirts are 21 bucks. Wait, go back. Let's talk about how to make money. It's called, you want profit margins. $21, that cost them two, maybe four, just depending, because they're probably getting massive volume, and doot, 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 doot is not that, maybe more than two. But and This isn't trademarked under or anything, 10 so bucks. anybody can make the shirt, too. Under 10 bucks, and they're charging 21. That means they're at 50% profit margins. You get rich at 50% profit margins. There's a there's a watch company, the fastest growing company in Europe last year. I forget the name. It's those watch. It's a Swedish company, and they sell nice watches that are like 100 to 200 bucks. Public figures, 210 million gross, they did. Okay, about 15 million a month, netted 100 million. You want to get rich? 50%. It's hard to do 50% profit margins, but. This is the kind of stuff that I'm telling you, you guys need to be on the cutting edge. Since 2014, I've been putting people at the cutting edge. Some people think it's a scam. Some people, I saw somebody be like, this is a scam. Yeah, selling on Amazon is a scam. Shark this dude, are a scam. This dude, so far behind <laughs> the times, this guy's like, not using a cal calculator, he's like, abacus is where it's at, man. Abacus, <laughs> this is the future trend. Um, so, get with the program. Fun facts that come from a church song. Yeah, there's some there's some people that are high right now suggesting things. CBD oil. CB, yeah. There you go. I like when I mention high. Liz goes, let's make money on people getting high. <laughs> CBD products. Success with Sully said, I can vouch for this. I'm 21 and I drop ship on Amazon from retailers like Lowe's and have done seven figures in sales. Same with eBay. I dropped out of college because of my success, my YouTube. There you go, it's happening all the time. 10,500 times 12, 126,000 times 10, 1.2 million. Are you talking about how much I made on Amazon affiliate? I didn't make that much because I haven't done it for 10 years. I think I went up on Amazon in like 2014. Positive Friendly said, just started selling books on Amazon, doing pretty well. Let's talk real quick on the lessons that you just taught. Because I want those of you who are getting the e-commerce program or got in last week, I've already raised the price twice. I like to reward early action takers. What did you talk about, Liz? Let, let's uh, write out some of the things. We talked about the hottest way to make money on Amazon right now, um, and that is Amazon agency because it's a way to start with no money at all. And Am I even taught a way that you can go about and do this without having to do any work. Yeah, how to outsource the work. Yeah, outsource you have the work. A, you have a VA, a virtual assistant in Philippines? I have several, yeah. Two or three in Philippines? Is that, you yes. like the Philippines? I do. They I have like a project English. manager. Yeah, yeah. They do all. They do pretty much all my whole PPC agency. Yeah. So she has an agency. She's charging businesses to run PPC to Amazon, which she's teaching in the program how she gets clients and then how to outsource all the work for your agency. So how much time do you spend on? How much can you outsource to your Filipino people? Everything. Everything. Yeah. So how much do you figure, let's say you just, because some of the stuff you're doing takes work and some doesn't take any work. If you took one month off right now and literally were only allowed to like work like 10 minutes a day just answering some critical emails, what do you think your income would be realistically? Lowball it. Don't be, don't be, don't exaggerate. Well, I take a salary from almost like everything that I do. So okay. I don't, I don't like spend the money like a crazy lunatic, you know. Okay. I did that in the past in my other businesses and learned the hard way. Okay. So if I didn't do anything at all, my salary wouldn't change. Okay. What's We're your salary? We're talking about around the $40,000 range. So you're at month. pretty much 40000 without working. Without working. And yeah. the other people in your team run it for you. Right. You built the team. Right. Six years ago, you didn't have any team. No. It was just me and my mom. Really? Yeah. Does she still help you? No, my mom's since you retired. You kicked your mom to the curb or she made so much money? No, she's since retired from it. So okay. she, we, we bought her house, we paid off her house, so she paid off her car, all that good stuff. Good, and a lot of you people ask me about female entrepreneurs. Here's a female entrepreneur. 
You know, a lot of people, we live in a world where there's racism, but the cool thing about Amazon, look, nobody knows who's selling shark doo-doo-doo teas. So you could be any race, you could be any gender, any ethnicity, any sexuality. Nobody could discriminate you against you because nobody's going to look at shark doo-doo. Go up to the top. Let's see if we can figure out. No, the top. Uh, yeah, click on shark doo-doo-doo teas. Swear that is a funny name. That's why this thing's viral. Yeah, it's uh, the Ryan's Toys had this. Ryan's Daddy Toys, shirt. and there's a whole bunch of competitors here sponsored. Do you did you teach how to do so? How to we talked about Liz taught something today called velocity. You need in order to get your product ranked, you need incoming velocity. You said you don't need as many reviews anymore. Is no, that right? Correct. Did that, so has Amazon changed their algorithm somewhat? If you get too many reviews at once, you could get banned from getting reviews. You could even get your whole product like shut down. Mm -hmm. And it'll have an inability to even receive a review. So you mm. have to be like really careful how many so reviews you So don't do get. fake reviews. Yeah, you don't want to do fake reviews. And you certainly don't need to actually have as many reviews to sell. Like even with PPC, you used to have to wait till you had about 25 reviews mm -hmm. before you started it up. But now you can have just a couple. And, yeah. and it'll work people, out. There's more trust online. People used to not buy stuff online, and now they do. Where to get K-pop items? She makes 40 a month. No, she's saying the question was, she makes 40 grand a month just her salary if she takes a vacation from her businesses. She pays herself a month, not a year. It wouldn't be quite as good a story. You know that I figured out how to make 40 grand a year. That wouldn't. That's not quite as... Someone said, protect Ty at all costs. That is from my Secret Service guy who is chatting with me on YouTube. Thank you, Whitney Houston bodyguard. Um, uh, how do you ship out lots of orders? Let's talk about shipping. If you have lots of customers wanting, do you just use the post office or do you use corporations such as Amazon? Yeah. Talk about the shipping aspect. Well, you use Amazon. That's the beautiful thing about FBA is that you don't have to worry about shipping. Like, yep. I used to sell on eBay and I had to pack stuff all day long and ship it out. Now Amazon does everything for you. So. Fulfilled by Amazon. You want your, a, a lot of stuff. They got these warehouses with robots. And God knows what else. They say that I don't know what happens in those warehouses. But strange things. Strange things. Jeff Bezos takes care of it for you. Mike Mavic says FBA all day, baby. Okay. Shipping to countries that they don't deliver to. What do you do there? Just not sell to those countries? Yeah, I don't sell to other countries unless I ship it into that country and sell in like Amazon Europe. So you can do Amazon Europe. You can also set up Canada. a Shopify site too, where you could, if you want to like ship to Azerbaijan or Micronesia. Rick, is that a country <laughs> you haven't heard of before? <laughs> my, my film team's <laughs> learning about <laughs> geography. Azerbaijan is a country. Azerbaijan. Not as many people there. Okay, um, 10X was lit. I just came back from Miami. Did you come to the 10X conference? No, I didn't get to make it out I there. was speaking to 24,000 people. That was, that was a fun day. Grant Cardone's, um, little, big, not little conference, big conference. <laughs> when trying to gain buy-in to implement a new program, what tactics have worked for you? So let's talk about you build an agency. What, what do you do? Because you tell them about how you have 50 customers. You have to, with your agency, you had to turn away customers. Yeah, I had to turn away customers because they came in so fast and we hadn't built out the team. Yep. So it was just like me and two other people and we were barely putting the systems in place. Yep. And all of a sudden we got this influx of customers and we had to say like, wait a second, we got to automate our onboarding process. We got to automate our optimization process. Yep. We got to automate, we, we have like this machine learning tool that we use and it wasn't properly set up. It still has some bugs. And so we had to put the brakes on. Ecom Amazon Agency. This is the next big thing. I've been telling people since last two weeks. You're hearing it here early. Thousands of people, I haven't even known. Let's see how many people got in. We had thousands go in in just the first day or so. I haven't checked my numbers. Let me see if I can pull up some of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I don't have all my stats, but at least 8,327 people have gone in my e-com e agency program in the last seven days. Now, good news for you, a lot of people are lazy, they buy the program and they never do it. So as time goes on, more people are gonna do an e-com 
an Amazon agency. You should get in today. I'm not trying to do a hard sell because honestly, um, I'm kind of, I like talking about stuff and people go, oh, well, you're selling. And I'm like, well, yes, you're right. I am selling. But everybody's selling you. When you watch the Super Bowl or the World Cup, Coca-Cola is selling you. But think about what they're selling you. People go, oh, is this, Ty, are you exploiting people? No, Coca-Cola exploits you. They give you diabetes and trick you into drinking. I mean, soda kills people. And the thing that I'm selling is something that changes lives. It's a big difference. There's a big difference. So yes, everything in life is selling. If you don't know that, you know Nike pulled off the big, Nike's been finessing people forever. They get everybody posts, every athlete, whether they're pro, college, you know, just an amateur basketball player, soccer player, they post pictures of their new Nikes. What are they doing? Free advertising. Every time you post on social media, you're making Snapchat money. You're making, they're selling you. What I'm talking about is a program where I'm selling you into, but you get a benefit from it. How many times did you scroll through social media today? How much money did you make from it? Zero. How, much, how many times have you gone to Amazon in the last year? Lots, probably, if you live in the modern world, if you're not an you know, aborigine or somebody watching this in the wild, which would beg the question how you're watching my live stream. But you didn't make any money, but Jeff Bezos did. He finessed the whole world in a good way. He didn't do anything wrong. $130 billion net worth. So why not make some of the money yourself? And if people think that that's a scam, then people are just too stupid to understand what I'm talking about. I'm used to it. I'm used to that. Whenever you are on the cutting edge throughout history, people think you're doing something wrong because the masses are dumb. So yeah, I have sheep. Sheep are dumb. Literally, I have sheep. I had a sheep one time. We like had a, we have a big barn. So all the sheep are running through the door to go inside. Well, somebody, I don't know, one of the guys who works on the farm accidentally closed the door. So now the door is closed. But the last sheep saw the other sheep go through it. Even though the opportunity wasn't there, that sheep rammed into and basically knocked itself out. And I'm going, you didn't see the big white barn wall that's 50 feet by 50 feet? Nope. And that's how I feel with people. I'm just like, you didn't see Amazon? Making people money, making people rich, rich beyond their wildest dreams. You got kids out here making $700,000 a month with doo-doo t-shirts. Why aren't you in on that trend? And I told you, you've been finessed. This isn't finessing. So, okay. So someone said, Ty, I like, <laughs> this, is, this is the internet right here. Someone said two comments next to each other. Nacho Biz on YouTube said, Ty, stop talking and answer my questions. Happy Vibes said, Ty, I like when you tell your stories. So we have one person who doesn't like it and one person who does. So I just do whatever I want to do. Um, Ty, what, Liz, tips for people in college. Is this something you could do part-time if you're a single mom, college student? Or does I it take like a lot of hours when you start? Because you're more advanced. Well, I think the biggest mis misconception people have is that they think they have to learn everything. Mm -hmm. So they think like I've got to go and watch all those videos before I get started. And that's mm -hmm. like just a load of like, you know, yeah. crap. Doo -doo. So, doo -doo. Yeah, doo -doo. Doo -doo doo -doo doo -doo. sure, yeah. So I think the, the one thing is they just have to have the guts to get out there and try to get a client. Like yep. if they get that client, they can figure the rest out and they could devote as little time as they want to really do a solid job. So I would recommend they have at least 30 minutes a day to just try to get a client every single day. So 30 minutes of commitment can go a heck of a long way. And when you get that first client, you're so excited that the second one is gonna come pretty quickly. Yep, let me read some people that right now are getting, I got. I built my own app now. I stopped using third party apps. I can see people getting in the test group as we speak. All right. We have Victor Zivkoff from Sachsen, Dresden, Germany. Oh, uh, and it's Amazon. You can read it right here. Paul Bolton Steele from Bloomington, Illinois. Welcome to the group. Courtney, Amazon is hot in Germany right now too. So he's, Amazon's he's, hot. Yeah, he can do. He can Victor make Victor Zivkoff, you are in on a deal, buddy. We're all the way from Dresden. My grandma's from my mom's German. What about Courtney? 
Asbury, she's from Rockville Center. Is that a hot? Is that a hotbed of activity in New York for Amazon? <laughs> Anywhere, it's Anywhere, a hot right. bit of activity. Trick even, even you can be in Abu Dhabi and make money. Abu Dhabi, you can go. This person lives in NA. They do not even live on planet Earth. Andre, <laughs> Andrea Longoria is doing Amazon FBA from NA, which is a small, small planet near Mars. And she, <laughs> her and Elon Musk are working on a new project. Um, Ricky Jefferson in Carl Junction, Missouri. Pranay Gupta, who's on Instagram Live, just got in the quick start. So there's two versions. Everyone has to get in the quick start version. That's like the white belt. And then you can upgrade if you want to the full four months for the certification. About half of you just need the quick start and half of you like need more hand holding. So I set the price low so that more people could get in. Robert Lopez, good last name, Robert. $100, no, just joking. Uh, <laughs> Lauro Rubio in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Ricky Jefferson in Bigsby, Oklahoma. Alan Mendez. Alfred, man, there's a lot of people. Okay, so uh, what else should we talk about? Let's take a few more. We got about 15 more minutes. Let's take some more questions. You could sell clothes without owning it. Yeah, what do you Amazon think of drop merge. shipping? Drop shipping is fantastic, but there's Amazon's getting more and more stringent. So you have to be really patient on a drop shipping account. Mm -hmm. You can't just jump in there and expect to make a lot of money right away. You've got to age the account. So they're mm -hmm. more lenient on older accounts. So be patient mix in FBA with the drop shipping stuff and take it slowly. Don't add 10,000 listings at once because there's a lot of software out there that actually does that nowadays. Mike C, Philly. Believe, what is the Philly, the, seven, the 76ers thing? You're from, believe in the process. You guys beat the Lakers yesterday. Guy Leroy, Salesburg, Pennsylvania. What is this, Pennsylvania Day? David Bell from Surprise, Arizona. That's a good place to live. People go, where do you live? Surprise! You like never tell people. Um, Altus, Oklahoma, Dallas, Texas, Rockville Center, West Jordan, Utah, Evansville, and oh, we got somebody from Rhode Island. I'm always like, who the hell lives in Rhode Island? I now know. Jeremy Martinez lives in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. What's the difference between FBA and drop shipping? Lane Minard asks. So FBA, you ship it into Amazon and they fulfill everything for you. So they ship it to your customer. Mm -hmm. FBM, you have to ship it yourself. Yep. So if you get a thousand orders in a day, you have to ship out a thousand orders. Yes, like eBay is like that. Fulfilled by you. You gotta have packing tape, masking tape. Tape you guns. Got, yeah. Fun stuff. Canidia, somebody said they're in. How do I take your courses, Ty? Charm smile. Uh, I put the link up. I raised the price two times already. Those of you who got in first got in at a better price, but I want to make this, it's still affordable. TyLopez.com slash ecom agency live. Mike Mavic said, Ty, I'm doing about 10K a month on Amazon. Would this help me? Well, she just recorded, Liz is doing 500 Gs a month gross with household items that's not even her only source of income she also has an agency too so if you're doing 10 grand a month this is what i tell people i say what's your entertainment budget people go well i go to a couple movies every month say you go to two movies a month by the time you buy popcorn and tickets to two people it's at least 50 bucks right then i say how much are you spending on netflix almost everybody has netflix it's 10 bucks a month some people have hulu hbo go whatever Average, and then you would throw coffee in there where you just like kind of your, which is kind of like your daily routine entertainment kind of, that's a hundred bucks a month. Then I say to people, what's your entertainment budget? The average person spends less than 10 bucks a month on a book, way less, like two bucks a month if they average it. And then I say, how much you spend on learning new things like this? People have no budget for it. So if you were making 10 grand a month on Amazon, why would you not want smart people like Joe Soto who teaches in there? Me and Alex teach in there, we've sold a billion dollars worth of stuff online. Is that a big enough number? One billion. The person that said, I don't know anything about selling online, eh. One billion is not eight figures, nine figures. Me and Alex combined have done that. Liz is doing, just living the dream down in Miami, bored out of her mind because she doesn't know what to do. She, she goes to the beach, she chills. She, what's the Guess funnest the thing you did I, last year? I they do a lot of fun stuff. What's your favorite? I can't, I can't even remember. Like just 
Going so to... many fun things. She's just, she's at, dr what's the club you go to till two in the afternoon? Dream? I, I no don't space? go there. <laughs> I don't go there. I was saying that with my student that made the $233,000. One of her student made, how much he make in a month? He made, no, in a day. He made 230000 so now he he's like basically become a crackhead and, in Miami. You know, the crazy thing is, he actually uh, bought one of your courses. Like that's really? how he met me through one of your courses. He saw me on uh, you and I. We were on YouTube, and that's how I met him. And he moved down to Miami. He wanted to be close to like you know you say find a mentor. So he wanted yeah. to be close to a mentor, and uh, we hang out everywhere but space. So I don't hang out till 2 p.m. I prefer to run Facebook ads and sell you know things. Here's one right here. This is a guy that just wrote me today on Instagram. Penalty Box Fitness. I just talked to him like an hour ago. Ty, I make over 200 grand a month selling e-com products thanks to your courses. I said, nice, which courses are you in? It was at 8.30. He's in my e-com, social media marketing, 67 steps, my mini MBA. I also read a lot of your books on your list and study the cognitive bias as you mentioned. I'm looking to scale and go to the next level. If you have any other courses or something you can recommend to me. I have for more advanced people, we have a mastermind that's 25 grand a year. I'm gonna recommend that to him because but he's not, he's already making 200,000 a month. And um, his name's Chris. I just met him. Dude, I get stories like this. You get stories like this. It's funny when you see people doing that, you go, why don't more people do it? I told you, they're like the sheep with the wall. People go to college who speak English and get an English degree. That's how much the world scammed and finessed the world. Ty, I spent $42,000 a year at a Sousa Pacific. That's the going cost for a Sousa Pacific <laughs> English degree. Bachelors. Not Harvard, not Yale. Those degrees can help you just for the name, but most people can't get in there. And I'm going, um, you got an English degree? Okay, what language did you speak from birth? Oh, English. Oh, okay. So then you spent four more years? What'd you study? Oh, English. Oh, and how much did you have to pay? Oh, 42,000 a year. Is that over $160,000? Yeah, and you're in debt, and then you gotta pay interest on top of it? Oh, okay, that sounds genius plan. Nothing smarter than knowing English and then having somebody trick you into paying 160 grand for English. Maybe if we're gonna be the next Ernest Hemingway. Does Ernest, did Ernest Hemingway have an English degree? Could someone look this up for me? Did, did Eric Remark, my favorite author who was actually German, did he have a damn German degree? He was German, who wrote All Quiet on the Western Front, won a Pulitzer Prize. Charles what? Darwin dropped out of college. Charles Darwin dropped out of college. Quentin Tarantino don't have a movie degree. He dropped out of high school. Ernest Hemingway. Okay, let's keep going. Ty, this is dope, Ty. Great value put out there. I loved your keynote at the 10X. Media One Vision. I Thank you. And somebody above him just wrote chicken wings. The variation on quality of comments on social media is beyond <laughs> belief. One guy wrote a cogent, well-thought-out sentence. The other person wrote chicken wings. I don't think you could sell chicken wings on Amazon, can you? No. Can't tell. Not perishables like that, unless you're Jeff Bezos. He does perishables. They do, uh, yeah, Amazon Fresh. But you, you can can't sell Amazon Fresh yourself. No, I don't no. believe so, no. But you can do Uber Eats if you got a little restaurant. Did Ernest Hemingway have an English degree? Well, it looks yeah. like no, he just started writing. Ernest Hemingway. This is a good writer. If you've ever read anyone, Ernest Hemingway, uh, uh, Remark, I mean, he didn't have, he couldn't have had an English degree because he was German in World War I, so I don't know. Whatever, what do I know? He just went to high school, he didn't even go yeah. to college. Hemingway just went to high school? Mm -hmm. no, Did Shakespeare writing. have an English degree for 160,000 in the 1500s? He went to the uh, Abelard School of, the, of English. <laughs> the great, no one's ever written at the level of him, but, oh, somebody said selling plastic chicken wings. Uh, yeah, pretty sure plastic Please chicken wings Please put plastic right chicken wings. If somebody's making 20 grand a month selling plastic chicken wings. I don't think they're making that much, I'm but I'm pretty sure. I'm flying this dude out to teach in the course, or woman, or whoever, or dude it. Man, woman. Plastic chicken wings for $14. That's hilarious. Why wouldn't you just want to party with actual chicken wings? I've never <laughs> been at a party and gone, you know what sucks about this party? There's real chicken wings. If there was only plastic chicken wings, oh man, people will buy anything. They do. Okay, someone said, Liz, how do you sell in college as a teenager? Well, I mean, you could do it the same way that we've been talking about. Take your pick. You can do the t-shirts or the agency thing. Does Jeff Bezos care? I don't think he cares. Does he call you up and go, are you a teenager? 
<laughs> no, I don't think he does. And I mean, even if he did, get one of your parents to get open your up mom the account. To do it. Say, Mom, I'm going to pass your income. Dad, you got finesse. I'm going to pass your income. Okay. What else? Can you sell wine on Amazon? Jorge Becerra 1116. They are starting to roll that out, but I don't think, I think they're inviting particular people, so you can't do it yet, but I imagine at some point they'll particular have some kind of. Particular people? Uh, okay. Yeah. Interested in the e comm agency, but can't afford it yet. Man, this thing, I got a price for under 100 bucks. Well, I got a great idea. Why don't they just go out and get a client? Go and out and get a client and then come back and buy the full course. So let's talk about that. You walk into a business that has physical products in your area or you find them online. You write them a message, do an audit, say, I noticed you're not selling on Amazon. I have an e-com agency. I'm 18 years old. I'm 40 years old. I'm whatever age. I've been trained. I've gone through. We have a four-month certification program for the e-com agency. Or you just say, look, I'll do it for you. I know how to get you up on Amazon. Can I give you a call? You get on the phone. We have an exact script. You get them to sign a contract, minimum of 1000 bucks a month. Companies will pay. Companies will pay. I just saw an article I posted on my Snapchat. The demand for digital services is way more than the amount of people that can supply that. It's insane. You know why? Because everybody's getting an English degree. Really? How many people do you think get an Amazon degree? That'd be a great degree. Go I actually four saw years. one. I'm you like saw one? I'm in Miami on Biscayne, and there was Atlantis University. They were offering an Amazon degree. Atlantis. Very prestigious school you could go to. And uh, it's a fictitious place. <laughs> it probably doesn't exist. I'm going to do one like that. I'm going to be like, come to my Narnia University. Pay me. <laughs> and you get to visit the campus in Narnia. Just come through this closet. Um, how to raise capital <laughs> in order to build and run the e-commerce store. This is the question that I've been wanting. This is a person who wrote this. His name is Editorial Little Bro Zambrosos. Dude, your Instagram name's a bit long. Just a little tip for you. Editorial Lil Bros Sombrosos. You don't want your Instagram name to be like 43 letters. But <laughs> here's my answer to you. I gave you that free advice. Shorten your Instagram name. The way you, with an e-com agency, you need no capital. Because you go to somebody who already has a store selling plastic chicken wings or selling socks or shoes or bikinis. You saw there on Amazon clothing, electronics, and you go, Hey, you're not online because most businesses are owned by people over 55 years old. They don't know how to do Amazon. You walk in the door, say, let me do it for you. And then you get paid. So Steve Madden dropped out of college. Okay. Here in my garage, bad connection, rock star. Blame am Instagram. Um, who has questions for Liz? Because we're going to go here in a few minutes. We've got like five minutes left. We may. Three minutes left. So go here to this link, tylopez.com slash ecom agency live. You're going to get 30, 13 training videos? 30. 30. 30, sorry. 30 videos she shot today that no one else in the world has ever seen. She just shot them here in Manhattan. Plus, you're going to get Joe Soto's lessons. You're going to get Alex, my business partner, Dr. Mayer. You're going to get my, I've got lessons in there. And I've got um, a new couple new teachers coming on Friday. So you're going to learn all different angles how to build an agency. Best seller central ad tip. Seller central ad tip? Yeah. Do headline sponsored ads. Headline sponsored ads. They're those, that banner that we saw above at the top. Liz knows her stuff. Shelby, Arizona says, you're awesome. What is Liz's, okay, ideal guy, somebody said. Okay, we'll skip that <laughs> question. Can you sell windows on Amazon, like little window frames? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. There's Put windows gonna, in. There's probably sh window shutters for sure. Window shutters. Is Amazon very competitive? Yes. So you got to know what you're doing. And don't just go out here like just with a chicken with your head cut off. Shutters. Oh, there's definitely window shutters. So let's look into one of these listings, like Amazon Choice. What do you see here? 39 bucks. Let's see how many reviews they have. I would just click into it. 454. No, I would want to look at like their BSR. This is go down. Our, Let's look at their BSR. Keep going. Down, down, down. Uh, right here. Right here. Thirteen thousand in home and kitchen. They're so. number thirteen thousand. That BSR stands for best seller rank. Yeah, and what you? I'll even just give people on here a quick One tip. Minute. We're gonna keep going on Instagram. We'll be right back because we Instagram. We're gonna keep going because it's good stuff. Talibs.com slash ecom agency live. Instagram people come right back. She's gonna explain right here on 
understanding BSR, understanding your competition on Amazon. Yes, yeah, set I'm Amazon. Okay. Are you gonna tell them how much uh, how much they're selling. I'll send them to a website. And they can okay. It out. We're about to give some. We're gonna reset Instagram. Do you learn ads in the agency? Yes. Alex, Dr. Mayor, and I have a co have lessons in there. What's up, Instagram? We're giving away some more money. Oh, by the way, I gotta give away a thousand bucks. We've only given away how many? Two or three hundred? Still got like seven hundred dollars to give away. And there's one viewer on Instagram Live. Yes. Okay, I think that number will go up in just a second. Oops. Okay, now we're going back up. I was gonna say, we are very unpopular. We had 700, okay, now we're back to 700 live. Okay, um, 800. Please, okay, so what do you learn here? We're selling, how to sell on Amazon and how to start an e-com and Amazon agency. Right, so what we're gonna talk about is BSR. So when you have BSR, as long as it's uh, 5,000 and up, and it's more like along the lines of 3,000 and up, the higher the BSR, that's not, it's not selling as well as somebody with BSR one. Yes. Somebody has BSR one, it's like on fire. Yep. So you can go to a website called FBA Toolkit. Go up here, FBA Toolkit. We're giving away free advice right here. FBA Toolkit. Someone said, I saw you on 10X. And Someone said, what is down BSR? Here to home kitchen. BSR. Right BSR, here. best seller Go ahead and enter 13,500. 13,500 in home and kitchen. And it's gonna tell you how many units per day they're selling. Huh. So you can use this on anything from 3,000 and up BSR, because once yep. you get below 3,000, it's hard to measure because yes. stuff sells so fast. So this person is selling about 15 to 16 per day. So if you go back and look at 15 to them, 16 per day at 50 bucks. So they're doing about $700 a day. Is that right? Yeah, uh -huh. I believe yeah, so. 700 bucks or so a day. Ty, you're an angel. I'm definitely not an angel. Cameraman's hair is on point. How was your hair? Did you accidentally have it? I did. <laughs> Josh, I is, Josh is just like, I'll see if anyone notices my hair. <laughs> um, Ty, I'm 16 and a sophomore in high school. What's the best business to do at my age? Online, because no one knows how old you are. You know how... Um, Bill Gates got rich. He started Microsoft before he was 18, or it was a his computer business, software. And nobody, he would call up and he would deepen his voice. He'd be like, oh, yes, this is uh, uh, Bill Gates here. And he did. He got people to sign up. So my advice to you, sell on Amazon. If you call somebody, get one of those voice distortions. Turn your voice into like, who's the guy with a deep voice? The guy from Soul Train. What was that him? Like Luther Vandross. Or like yeah, Barry Luther White. Van Barry White. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you well, know you the Soul Train like guy. Later. What's the Soul Train guy? James Earl Jones. So, yeah, <laughs> there you go, <laughs> James Earl Jones. Yeah, you know, really? fun, you know a funny James Earl Jones story. I'm here in Manhattan a few, like, five, six years ago with my friend Jeremy. We're on Broadway, and James Earl Jones, who plays Darth Vader, he was doing a Broadway show, and uh, my friend's like, "Dude, I want to meet him when he walks out of here," and we were we were leaning against the wall and like. The entrance to the Broadway show was probably 50 feet away. And I told Jeremy, I go, Jeremy, because there was a big crowd waiting outside to meet him. I said, I know these guys. There's no way he's coming out of that door because there's a whole bunch of people there and paparazzi waiting. As I said that, I kid you not, I didn't realize I was leaning against the door. A door pops me in the back. We turn around, James Earl Jones goes by, bye, <laughs> and gets in a car and just says hey to us and leaves. Me and Jeremy were like, I'm like, I might be psychic. Can I sell psychic surf services on? <laughs> I don't think so. Amazon but you FBA. Could probably, you deliver. could probably sell crystal balls on there. Crystal ball. Hey, you laugh. Supernatural stuff's gonna sell. You do. Hey, pull up Magic Eight Ball to make decisions. Oh, I gotta tell you this crazy story. So, um, one of the very first successful <laughs> products. Sorry. Someone said, how much can I sell my wife for? I believe human trafficking is, an is a prohibited category. I hope your wife is watching Jaden Moore 25. You sound like Borat. <laughs> it's like my wife has plow experience. Okay. So this Magic 8 Ball, I was talking about this. I was selling these on one of my drop shipping stores. And this one right here, I was selling the crap out of it. I was drop shipping it from Walmart. Uh, but at the time that movie came out with Jack Black, yeah. where the kid that he took and had the crystal ball or this magic eight ball, I was selling like 15 of these a day, just drop shipping them from Walmart. 
So Walmart was doing the FBA. Yeah, Walmart was doing the FBA. <laughs> or it wouldn't be FBA, it'd be FBW. Yeah, FBM. That is funny. Yes. So eight, what's the, let's go down, let's see what the ranking is here. 411 in toys. Go back to our other site. We just gave you guys magical gold. Somebody said and there's a big, there's an actual. So this won't. You got to look for toys here. So uh, toys, toys is up, pro, toys, probably up here toys, at the top. Up. Yeah, here it is. Toys. 411. It's 411. not going to be that accurate because it's below the 3,000. 3, but, but let's just get. Let's just see what it says. Hey, can you get one, Adam? Get one of those off. So 68 per day. 68 per day. I think Magic it's more like balls. 100 plus. 100 yeah. a day. Let's say they're doing 100 a day. What are they selling for? Eight bucks. Yeah, but I was selling the the bigger ball, which was uh, a little bit higher. But yeah. There you go. There's demand for larger crystal balls because they're much more accurate than smaller crystal balls. This is the logic of the world. My wife makes pillowcases at home. How do we expand? Amazon. There you go. I think Amazon has uh, their own, it's similar to Etsy. It's where you make your own stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they have, Amazon bought some book publishers. You can obviously, we haven't even gotten into the whole book publishing. That's a whole nother conversation. What do you think? of the $5,000 Amazon Selling Machine Certification Program. There's lots of good programs out there. I recommend buying all of them, but not everybody can afford 5,000 bucks. I like to make stuff. Look, I was not born wealthy. I was not born with $5,000 even uh, in my family. That was disposable income. So, and me and you kind of grew up the same. So I like to make stuff that's more affordable. I'm not gonna say it's better or worse, but I got a lot of success stories, more than, I'm pretty sure, I have 285,000 students that have bought my stuff. It's a quarter of a million people. Good. Most universe in four years, so, or less. Should I get started with e-commerce if I live in Alaska? It doesn't matter where you live. This is a question that should not be asked because the whole point of e-commerce means you're not bound by location. A lot of you, Hey, single guys, great thing you could do, and single women, go pick a cool place to live that's low cost, sell into the United States through Shopify, have customers that you do your e-com and Amazon agency for that are in America. When I was in um, Scandinavia last year, I recorded some videos with a guy. This is what this guy does, it's hilarious. He has an agency. He says he hasn't been back to America in like three years. He's been traveling the world with his girlfriend. He has customers, one of his customers, I won't say what city, but he, he does the police department of one of the largest cities in America. And I go, so you do all their web stuff for them? He's like, yeah. I go, they don't know you've never, you haven't been in America in three years? He's like, no, I have an 800 number, they call me. I have like an office suite in the city that I pay 100 bucks a month, like a UPS store. They think they're dealing, I mean, he didn't lie to them, but they just assume that he's a big agency. He's like, it's me and my girlfriend, and we're making, they're probably making like 25,000 bucks a month. But $25,000 a month, you go travel in India, Vietnam, Malaysia. I mean, that's like making 200 grand a month. Okay, how's that farm-raised soda? Yes, this is amazingly <laughs> farm-raised. That is a very smart comment. Selling ecstasy or Xan. Okay, here's the thing. There was a company that you could do FBA for drugs. It was called Pirate. Wasn't it Pirate Bay? Pirate Bay, yeah. The but the guy who did it is now in a Supermax prison. So I would stay away, unless you're big on Supermax uh, prisons and not seeing sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> if you're more of the Dracula type and you like to just be like, All right, put me in a coffin for the next 40 years, I would stay away from selling drugs. Uh, America's not big on drugs ever since Ronald Reagan and stuff. This stuff sounds hard. Is this hard? No, it's not hard at all. It's just, it's, it's people that uh, are afraid. They're just afraid to try something. People are sheep, sheeple. All you sheeple ignore everything we're saying here. All you people are gonna run into a wall. You're just gonna build up. Look, here's the thing. People go, is being an entrepreneur hard? I'm like, well, what's your alternative? Having a crappy job? That's even, that's real hard. Being broke all the time? That's real hard. So. Where do we buy or get these things to sell? Good question. We recommend start with an e-com agency, sell other businesses stuff for them. Find somebody who's 60 years old who has a business doing a million bucks a year. They're everywhere, everywhere in small towns. You can call them on the phone. 
email them, you call 10 of them, one of them will sign up and you say, I'll do your business for you, your online stuff. I'll get you up on Shopify, I'll get you up on Amazon, I'll do your PPC if they need it. We, I have another course for SMMA, you can do their Facebook, YouTube, all that, that's separate. But just do their physical product for them. So is this still live? Yep. Anytime on, on Instagram you see the word live, it means it's live. It's just, I know that's a mind blowing concept, but they do do replays, but it won't have the little live thing. This is, welcome to college educated America. This is live, is your Instagram live live? One time, I kid you not, I met a girl. There's two, <laughs> two people. This is the state of the education system in the modern world. One girl, this is back when you would like get girls emails and people weren't texting that much. It was like, or, so I was like, she gave me her email and I'm like, I'll email you. And she's like, do you have a Yahoo? Cause she had a Yahoo and I'm like, no, I use Gmail. And she's like, well, you can't message me. I'm like, why? I'm like, she goes, cause I have Yahoo. She thought that <laughs> only Yahoo's could message her. But that's not even the dumbest person I ever met. I met a girl who yeah, not to throw girls under the bus. Guys are just as stupid. But this specific incident, um, somebody, I texted them, and then they said, can you send me your number? I'm like, <laughs> I texted you. <laughs> she may be on a little bit too much CBD oil at that point. <laughs> gummies. She did gummies at that point. Just anytime you want to freak people out, just when they text you, be like, yo, can you text me your number? <laughs> 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 Just so they think you're stupid. You, they'll underestimate you. Everyone says I wake up at 5 a.m. Okay. Uneducated, not dumb. No, this person was just dumb. That's not an education thing. Tyler, there are only 12 videos in the e-commerce agency course. There was until a few days ago. We just recorded about 40 now. So there's 40 more. Those of you who got in in the first couple of days, there's only 12. Does Liz like marijuana? No. I don't smoke marijuana, actually. Ty, were those people dumb, or were you dumb for talking to them? Well, there's a saying, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. So if I had kept talking to them, then it would be on me. But it was, I did not keep talking to them. Not everybody has to be a freaking genius, but there's minimum levels of IQ needed in planet, more, in planet Earth. Somebody said, how do you make $777 trillion in two years? They're skeptical of your earnings claims. Look, you're probably not gonna make as much as Liz. Honestly, I don't expect people to go in and make $500,000 a month gross, 100,000 net. That's not the point of this program. Make an extra thousand bucks a month. That's good. You, with an extra thousand dollars a month, you can move to a nicer place, drive a nicer car, and pay off debt with just a thousand bucks a month. Most college debt is about two to $400 a month. So you can cover your college debt, most credit card debt, Two to four hundred bucks will go a long way to paying it off. A nice car, nicer car. My first nice car was a Mercedes C Class. Floyd. It was like the cheapest. I went to a Mercedes dealership. No one in my family had ever had a new car, even that I had seen. And I'm like, what is the cheapest thing here? And I got a Mercedes C Class. I thought that the, it, it, you had to roll down the windows. I didn't even know. I don't think Mercedes makes cars like that anymore. But I thought I was so cool. And that car, I remember, was three hundred dollars a month was the payment on it. So an extra grand a month will save your life. Ty, thanks for opening up our eyes to the world of entrepreneurship and giving us so much great tips on how to start. Well, don't just thank me. I have surrounded myself with a lot of people who know things I don't know, smarter than me, you know? Somebody's EDOM says he's reaching his mid-30s. Is it too late? It's never too late. I've had people as like 71 text me and tell me that they got into the actual arbitrage portion of it and now that's how they support their that's their income they're retired and they make more than their actual retirement <laughs> somebody wrote edom yes it's too late they're kind of mocking you edom okay <laughs> what mistake did you f liz what mistake we have a question from lavish bell or laviest bell what mistake did you learn from when when you first started Ecom. What was a big mistake people need to avoid? I had a lot of them, but it's uh, probably just waiting so long to do my first private label product. Okay. Was a huge mistake. 
because I missed out on the easy part of it because I stalled and I stalled and I was like, just like a lot of people out there are, are like stalling. And um, that was probably the first biggest mistake that I actually made is just waiting to just jump on in. You snooze, you lose. That's an old term that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's kind of like now you're saying agency's hot. It's hot right now, but if you stall, it's yep. going to be a lot harder when you get started later. David Moreno, welcome to the program. Got in the Quick Start Ecom Agency, LA, California. Welcome Daryl Grant, Sandusky, Ohio. Welcome Tyler Birch, Genesee, Michigan. Welcome Weldon Kamai from Pasadena. Rafael Marquez from Chula Vista. Brittany Soto from Dallas. You're inspiring a lot of women, female entrepreneurs, good. Hayseen Naitali, doesn't say where you live, another person. Hollywood, Florida, Brian Martell, welcome. Nicole Alvarez, Atlanta, Georgia. Chase Ganam, Atlanta. What's up with Atlanta? Did everyone go to the Super Bowl and get stuck there? You got too many Atlanta people. Brenda Uzmani, Redondo. Ignacio De La Torre, Pasadena. Mendoza, Mars. I thought this said Mel Gibson. I was like, my life is complete. Mel Gibson is in my training program. Sorry, Marcel. Canton, Massachusetts. Okay. Are you getting tired? You've been recording for how many hours now? 13 hours? Only wow. 13. You know, entrepreneurs like Liz have a lot of energy because when you like what you do and you get paid for what you do, you get more energy. You see people are lazy, it's mostly because they hate what they do. 80% of people don't like what they do. You, not everyone needs to be an entrepreneur, by the way. You gotta have some people working within, they call them intrapreneurs. <laughs> but you either wanna be an entrepreneur or an intrapreneur. What you don't wanna be is a cog in a machine where you don't like what you're doing, you know? What if someone gets lost and stuck in one of your courses and Facebook group doesn't help? Nacho Biz said. So we have some extra private training for some of you. Most of you don't need it. Um, Liz is actually doing twice a month phone training. It's a separate program. Most of you won't need it. We have a pretty complete program. Plus you get access to the private Facebook group. So Ty, tell them do not undercharge. Don't charge us than a thousand bucks for your service. What for your e-com agency, your Amazon agency? What price ranges do you like to charge? So we like to charge a setup fee when we onboard the the actual client. Mm -hmm. So that setup fee, depending on how many products they want onboarded or how many products we're running PPC for, is between a thousand and twenty five hundred dollars. Okay. So we so charge that, and then the ongoing recurring fees go from fifteen hundred to ten thousand yeah. a month. Yeah. That's what we've been teaching. 2016, we taught that. That's a great price range. Businesses can afford it. Individuals can't, but businesses have tax deductions. They have more revenue. One to 10,000 a month is pretty much what you want to do. Is entrepreneur a real word? Damn it, I said it. It's a real word. I don't know. People just make up words. You know, I, you know all words are made up because at some point, Homo sapiens didn't have words. So yes, all words. Some people are like, you can't make up words. I'm like, what are you talking about? All words are made up. As long as people understand what you're saying, that's communication. So someone said, I want to give Liz a bed and a pillow, pobrecita. You could <laughs> sell that on Amazon and Liz would buy it right now. A Liz pop-up bed. What's Liz's YouTube channel? Do you have a YouTube channel? It's Hurricane Liz. Hurricane Liz. Uh, Ty, how both social media marketing and your e-commerce and your e-com program is still worth the purchase. Yes. Look at the price that is on this thing. Those of you not getting in this, it's insane. <laughs> it's insane that people don't understand. Just compare your options. Here's your options right now if you don't get an e-commerce agency. Number one, you can learn it on your own. Liz is smart. It took her six years to get to where she is. If you had someone guiding you, it would have been faster. Yeah, well, it's at one point I realized I needed somebody guiding me, so I started to pay money. And well, I, how I mean, much did you pay to masterminds and other people training you? Guess. Well, since then, yeah, uh, probably maybe about three hundred thousand dollars. Three hundred thousand, and people say that's a lot. I'm like, but no, she's making five hundred thousand a month. It's not how much you spend; it's how much you get back. That's investing. In fact, the more you invest, if you do it right, you want to invest more. Like people who bought Apple shares, lots of them. I saw the other day, Warren Buffett, this joke, he bought like 400 million shares or something, something crazy like that. Because he knows the more you invest, if it appreciates, you can make a lot more. I know people didn't learn investing in school, 
But she, Liz has invested 300,000. I spend 100,000 a month on my own training. I've done it for years. That's over a million bucks a year. Easy. I used to do almost 200,000. My CPA made me lower it. He thought it was ridiculously high. But the more I spend, the more I learn. So look at your, what's your, what's your, I bet you 99% of people watching this, their Netflix budget is more than their ongoing <laughs> education budget. That's the world we live in. The average person spends 20, I, I found this stat. Average person in America spends $20 a year on, a book, on books. But Netflix is 100, over 100 bucks. So no wonder people are broke. So for those of you, look at your alternatives. One, you could learn this on your own, but then you learn through the school of hard knocks, which means you lose a lot of money. Secondly, um, you can, well, there are programs out there that are very expensive. They're over five, like three, four, five thousand. There's some good ones out there. You'll learn. For those of you who have those programs, they're different than ours, but you'll, I'm a fan of, I don't think I have all the information in the world. Me and Liz and all the teachers, we don't know everything. So that, that's an alternative. Third alternative is you can go to conventional education. You can drop at least 10 grand a year and four years of your life and get a business degree. Do you have a business degree? No. Nope. Do I have nope. a business degree? Nope. Do I have any degree? I have a high school diploma. I, I show it proudly. What's your qualifications? Are? But you know what? I don't ever go to job interviews. <laughs> you know one way you don't need a degree? Don't go to job interviews because I make my own company. When, you're the, when you make your own company, people go, how do you find a job? Make a job. I just invent one out of thin air. Okay. So those are your three options. Or you can get in this program, which is priced at you know one thousandth of a college degree and you can be rocking and rolling. We have a 10 day quick start to everything you need in like 10 days of training. And then you can go on and do the four month full on certification, but get your first client this month. You know, any t-shirt selling people here, Liz sold t-shirts. Are Liz's video on the e-commerce agency? Yep. They will be up. We're going to get them up what tomorrow or the next day, yeah, next the next 48 day. hours. We'll have them up. There's a lot of, we gotta edit them all. Juan Esteban, for, how come lab people have so many names? Want a blonde. This they guy, no, this dude has four right. names. I'm Latin, so I can make He's, fun of Latin people. Isn't that allowed? He's probably from Spain or, you know. His name is Juan Esteban, I gotta, I gotta change my app to go horizontal <laughs> to hold this dude's name. So Juan Esteban Fernandez Garcia de la Poza de blah, 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 from Tampa. <laughs> In America, we're just gonna call you Juan. America's not big on the long names. We got Juvenal, Guterres. Man, this is a very Latin crowd. I think it's because Liz Herrera and Ty Lopez are teaching. <laughs> <laughs> but we do have some Germans. They're not very uh, Latin. Rhett Davis. Rhett is not, a, is not a Spanish name. It almost sounds like a Gone with the Wind. It is. It's the almost, whitest yeah. name you could have. If you want to have your kid, if, if you believe in white privilege and you want your kid, name him <laughs> Rhett. Rhett. <laughs> Darwin or something. Oh, don't let that hit the floor. Woo. Nicole Ehringhausen from, this is from Pantelitz, Mecklenburg, Vorpommern, Germany. Welcome to the program. Someone said, dang, used to be thousands a couple of years ago, went down. Are you talking about the price? No, it wasn't thousands. Or you mean how many people are on Instagram Live? That's because it's about midnight right now. Everybody's asleep. We're up here working. <laughs> We're up. Usually my Instagrams get like three or four thousand, but if I go live at one in the morning, you tend to get less people. Um, and in England, it is six in the morning in Europe. So, Ty, I really just enjoy <laughs> your videos. Ty, you're going in the history books. I like this comment stream. I, I get everything from nice comments to average to, you want to hear a funny comment? Sure. I keep my worst comments. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read. I, I don't know if we've been populating, but there's one recently I got that is just great. This is one of the greatest things. Somebody said, Ty. Wait a sec. Where is this one? You remember this one about Legos? Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, please let me find this. <laughs> Somebody says... <laughs> Ty, you talk and walk like a high school snitch. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond. That's too elaborate of a, of a put down. 
I've never seen a high school snitch. Is there a lot of like prison activity in the high school you went to? You had like, <laughs> what's his name? The rapper guy that's snitched now? There probably could be a t-shirt, snitches get stitches. There you go, snitches get stitches. We got business idea that out of me coming. Okay, that's that, battery pack this one. Dang it, man. There was one person who said he wants to curse me that every day I wake up and I step on Legos barefooted. That was his. <laughs> I'm like, that's, that's, you, should, you should be a copywriter, man. Ty, go on Joe Rogan. He's talking about 6 9 I'm not sleeping, Ty. I can't stop watching you. Love from New York City. Good. Ty, must we spend $39 a month to start selling on Amazon? Yes, you have to. That's Amazon's fee. Amazon's smart. They got a recurring, they got, no matter if you sell anything, you got to ante up, takes a little money to make money. If they you used to give you 30 days free, but that opportunity passed. You see, when you wait. Yep. But go out and get a business owner. You do their Amazon for them and they pay the 39. See, this is not just how to sell your own products. Sell other people's products first. I repeat, sell other people, uh, other people's products first. Someone said, cursing you with stepping on Legos is basically cursing you with fatherhood. Uh, okay. Ty, does your program work for Mexico? Do people in Mexico buy things? And if not, why not just sell from Mexico into countries where people buy stuff? Do people use You're, Amazon in Mexico? Yeah, Amazon they Mexico. They no wall. They can keep Amazon back, boy. <laughs> Amazon, the one thing all this politics don't realize, McDonald's is everywhere. You want to, world peace comes from people selling stuff. Mo Mullison said, I just joined the Quick Start. Welcome to the program. Someone said, Ty, are you a fan of entrepreneur Billy Jean and Gary V? Yes, I know both of them. I got a video with Gary V, no Billy Jean. There's lots of smart people. Learn from lots of people. You need a cabinet of advisors. The president has 15. So people are always trying to pit me against other entrepreneurs. Like, uh, it's, I'm, this is not basketball. People are like, oh, who do you think is better, you know? LeBron James or Jordan? No matter how you cut it, these dudes both won. And they're laughing all the way to the bank. Michael Jordan's a billionaire. And LeBron James is on his way to being a billionaire. And so instead of focus on, like, just build your own life amazing. Ty, you look 10 times more attractive with your sleeves rolled up. Thank you. I will remember that. I'm just going we to, if I see a girl I'm attracted to, I'm just going to be like, <laughs> see that hair? <laughs> And when I don't like her, I'll just be like, eh, I'll pull them all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> Ty, you're a great bro. Keep going. I'm rich because I'm a drug lord. All right. We got Pablo Escobar's ghost. <laughs> Ty or Gordon Ramsay? You would rather eat Gordon Ramsay's food, man. Okay. Ty, I thought Ty and Gary V were beefing. People always think that. Look, me and Gary V and Grant Cardone and Tony Robbins, look, not everybody believes exactly the same thing. Okay, we got our little angles on it. Tony Robbins, who I learned a lot from, who I respect as a kind of OG. You, you like Tony Robbins stuff? Yeah, absolutely. I don't agree with 100% of Tony Robbins, but the general gist of what he's saying, I think has changed millions of people's lives, including mine. Gary V. The gist of what Gary Vee says, I agree with. We got a different methodology, Grant Cardone. The gist of what he's saying, I agree with. This is not about cults of followers, you know? Somebody said, who's Pablo Escobar? This dude definitely doesn't have a Netflix budget. He's not watching, <laughs> he ain't watching Narcos. This dude's on another planet. I hope you're old. Only my grandma can get away with stuff saying, like saying that. Somebody said, uh, Tony Robbins, help me. Slow the chat, please. I can't slow down the chat comments. Somebody's mad that they're coming in too fast like it's my fault. What about Dean? What does that even mean? Is that another? Dean. Oh, Dean Graziosi? Oh, yeah. I don't know as much about him, but look, I'll tell you this. Most people, if you know their name, they have skill. It's just like basketball. There's no bad NBA players. None. If you've ever heard of them, if they're on it, there's 300. There's about a billion people who pick up a basketball in their life and play. 300 make it to the NBA. I love the NBA. I've got some friends in the NBA. They're all good. I play Chris Paul every year. We play one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we play horse. Um, 
I played Dwight Howard. We played one on one. Gilbert Arenas shoots at my house a lot. His podcast. You know, James Harden been at my house. All these guys, they're all good. If you know their name, they're good. And so when people start going, should I listen to this person and this person? I'm like, well, do you know their name? Because then they must be at least good at marketing because it's hard to get your name out there. There's hundreds of millions of people who are on Instagram. Ed Milet, do you know his name? He probably has something to teach you. I, I, I learn from everybody. That's what Abraham Lincoln said. He said, learn from everybody even if sometimes it's not what you don't want to do. Sam Ovens, yes, I, I've been around, I've been, you know, affiliate with Sam Ovens for a long time. Did I beat Mark Cuban? <laughs> yes, but we didn't really play a game. We just played half court shots. He's a very competitive, Kwame Brown. <laughs> Kwame Brown would beat anyone, in, even though he gets made fun of a lot. Anyway, let's, let's move back to what we're talking about. Okay, questions for Liz. Can you use social media marketing and apply it to Amazon and e-commerce? Let's go back to Amazon. Absolutely. We were what just, would you do to drive traffic? I was talking to Youssef, who's on the actual like, cameras. Yep. I was telling him he's got a huge following on YouTube, and this is exactly what he can do. He can Amazon. actually sell his own product and send his followers to... To his crystal ball. Yeah, to his crystal ball, to his supplement, to whatever he wants to send them to. Who wants to buy Youssef's ball? <laughs> <laughs> Your name is almost like Aladdin name, man. Yousef's ball. <laughs> Might have a, a large following there. Uh, Ty, how much do you charge small businesses? We just said that, one to 10,000. Someone said they love Yousef, but they spelled his name wrong. I don't, I don't think you know Yousef. Zen Zen Reseller said, I'll buy your program. Good, go in right here. Click the link below if you're on my website, or you can go Ty Lopez Agency. Or sorry, ecom agency live, or just go to my website. Ty, would you recommend for a 16-year-old to do an ecom agency or a social media marketing agency? Right now, I think the hottest one is ecom agency because it's like up and coming. So I would probably suggest ecom agency. Flip a coin, SMMA, social media marketing agency. 20. What do they enjoy doing? Too? Yeah, what do you enjoy? What do they like? If you're more like you love doing like Facebook ads, stuff like that, social media marketing, you're on Twitter a lot, you're on YouTube, you might want to do a social media marketing. If you like selling products, like grabbing a physical Yousef's crystal ball and selling it, getting that thing <laughs> sent to someone's door, do that. You got to go. There's money to be made in many, many things. Someone said they got the program for yes, uh, less. Yeah, because I raised the price. So I said, I'm going to keep raising this price. Get in now while it's still affordable. Ty should replace Mark Cuban or Robert on Shark Tank. No, I don't think so. Those guys got a great show going. I actually have my own version of Shark Tank, which I just do on live streams. Then I don't have to wear a suit, I don't have to. I like to live my own life, man. Ty, there's just 12 videos on Ecom Agency. Until today. Liz just saw 30 more. And we have Alex's, what did he shoot, six? Four? I think four. Four, yeah. So we have 34 more coming. Someone said you'd make so much more money if you did that. What does that mean? What was I just saying? Be on Shark Tank. Oh, Shark Tank? I thought you meant roll up my roll down my sleeve my <laughs> sleeves. Um, I would watch Thai Tank instead of Shark Tank. Thai I don't. Tank. I think that would get me in trouble with the little pa little trademarking. Ty, are you related to Donald Trump? Yes, Donald Trump is definitely related to Ty Lopez. <laughs> definitely. When I think Trump, I think Lopez simultaneous. So if we join today, we get 30 videos. Yes, you're going to get, we have two programs. You're, we got the quick start and we have a four month certification. Start, everyone starts with a quick start, white belt. Then you could decide if you want to try to get a black belt. Not everybody needs a black belt. Uh, let's get some questions for Liz. I think <laughs> these are funny is ecom agency it's a one-year access that's what you get to either the quick version or the four-month version so you have a year to do it either the, you, you have a year for both of them let me work for your company in Chicago you can apply on my website to work for me I had 8,000 people apply last week it was a lot we, we whittled it down to one we hired actually but we're hiring more. 
Um, how many hours a day do you sleep? Seven to eight. What's your daily schedule? What do you think is the best, what have you found? You're making over $500,000 a month with your agency, e -com. What schedule works for you? What's your day in the life of Liz? So it's usually agency? like I get up and I kind of do like an hour to two hours of like creative stuff. What time do you wake up? 6 a.m. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Yeah. Two hours. So I'll like, I'll do some working out. Sometimes I'll meditate. Sometimes I won't. Sometimes I'll read something. It's just whatever I kind of feel like. Sometimes I feel like just writing. So I'll just like write. Uh, I'll write some emails, stuff like that. Do a workout and then just kind of chill for a little bit and then just get into like a groove of just hammering out life. work. you got a tough life. So you're yeah. not in traffic in Miami? No. And then I <laughs> stop working at about five or six and then okay. I just enjoy the rest of the evening and I don't do like anything really work related. So you think you're working, how many hours of like hard work, labor, not counting the creative where you're just like dreaming up new ideas, but where you're actually in front of a laptop. Maybe what, three or four hours three tops. Three hours, yeah. yeah. A lot of entrepreneurs in general, I think, a good, you know, Tim Ferriss, who's a smart guy, he wrote a book, Four Hour Work Week. It depends. Um, you can do a four hour work week. I tend to find that most entrepreneurs work around four hours a day, three to four hours, which is actually scientifically the amount of time you can focus on one thing. So I think now, I also build businesses. I built like MentorBox. Uh, we grew to a $75,000 paying recurring membership company um, that's valued over 50 million bucks. And I've worked four hours in two years on that. I don't work on that, but that's more advanced business stuff. Um, I think most of you, sh realistically, you're going to be working a little more at the beginning and then you just ramp it down as you build out systems. Yeah, and I used to work like 10 hours a day yep. and I was building up. But it was fun because you were getting paid yeah. for it. It's one thing to work 10 hours a day at like Mickey D's or Taco Bell <laughs> and you get your little, you know, you get your little bonus overtime. You go from making 10 bucks an hour to making like 15. But it's another thing to make a 15 grand that day. What's the most you ever made on a day, in a day? I probably couldn't even tell you. It's, it's really a lot. But just say like one product, one day. One, okay, one product, one day, one yep. SKU, uh, 40,600. What know, kind we of have product was it? It's, uh, it's actually a toy. So a toy, you made 40 grand in a day. Not all profit. What are the margins usually? Uh, on, that? on that particular day, since uh, it was actually running out, so I had to raise the price about 30% margins. So you made about 12 grand a day profit. Okay. Just from uh, one Amazon product, yeah. Cool. You know what? I forgot to look at Facebook. Sorry, Facebook. I haven't even looked at one of your comments. Oops. Somebody just wrote the word amalgamation. That's probably why I haven't looked at Facebook. <laughs> we have genius comments. Amalgamation. Tell you've helped me a lot. I've been following you since I was 14. I started my first e-commerce store at age 16 and I had it for two months. I've gotten over 300 orders. I'm doing real estate school. Is that wise? Hey, I got a real, the best thing you should be doing in real estate right now, most of you, all you people become real estate agents, HSMC, an Airbnb home sharing management company. This is, that's another program I have that is badass. I guess it took, it took about 24 hours, it took a, I launched it, closed it 24 hours later. I had my first testimonial. A guy in Romania booked three bookings. He just rented out a room in his own apartment, making profit like that. It's Airbnb. Why do people want to become realtors? I don't know. Realtor was like a good idea in like 1967. That's how slow <laughs> people change. People are going to be like in 2023, people are going to be like, Ty. I've, there's a good trend out there. Airbnb you should do this thing. You can rent out. I'm like, I was telling people that in 20, right now. People are going to take at least five years. It's insane. I was doing YouTube. I was doing social media marketing. I was one of the first people to use Google AdWords. I was in Google AdWords in the second month it existed. I got in the Facebook beta program. I was one of the first three kind of influencers to use YouTube ads. When I rolled out YouTube ads, people were criticizing me like, oh, you're stupid. But then you laugh all the way to the bank. <laughs> it's like getting in early. Here's the downside. When you get in early, people think you're weird and they think you're dumb. The upside is your bank account goes up. So just pick which one you want. You know, if you're very thin skinned, then you should be late to everything and no one will ever criticize you. But you will be broke. So Ty, have you heard? Sell sink saddles. Have you ever heard of sink saddles? I don't even know what that is. But put sink saddles. Is this something weird that I'm going to have to censor?
Can you put sync saddles on Amazon real quick? It exists. People are out there riding their, oh, their sinks. Oh, I guess it's like, it goes like that in your sink. Oh, I, it's not a horse. Yeah. Okay, I thought somebody had some weird fetish. Yeah, these, like probably, these are probably like crazy good sellers. There you go, sink saddles. Didn't even know it existed. Somebody said, oh, Ty, you stupid. You don't know what a sink saddle is? You're right. It's probably because you don't Guilty. wash dishes, Ty. Guilty. <laughs> yeah. Or I just call it like a drying rack. <laughs> I'll call it a sink saddle. Um, okay, let me go back here. Sorry, Facebook, I forgot about you. Ty, when are you starting an office in India? Open an office in Mumbai. We got two people I'm, I'm interviewing to work for me. We've opened an office in 15 locations around the world, across the United States. Yep. Real estate versus e com agency. You should definitely do both. But you take, you reinvest your profits from your e com agency into real estate. Real estate's a great place to invent, uh, to reinvest into because it's a hard fixed asset. It holds value, it's a store of value. It's been a store of value since basically the beginning of time and personal property is going to be here, you know? Slime is selling on Amazon. Yeah, slime sells like. Do they it's have that killing. Nickelodeon slime stuff that they used to always slime people? Yeah, you know what else sells good is putty. Can I? I'm gonna get slime. Is it legal to slime annoying people? You can just say, ha, ah, it's fun. They do it on TV. Nickelodeon slime kit. There you go. Somebody's getting rich selling slime. There it is. 18 bucks. What, what makes. $18 slime so much better than not. Is it just more slime? It's a studio. It's a whole slime studio. Ah, what do I? Of course. Stupid me. It's a studio of slime. The things people will buy. <laughs> it's like 3,000 in toys, so it sells pretty good. Number 3,000 in toys, so they're probably selling. 13,000 actually, yeah. 13,000? Yeah, probably about, selling a couple hundred a day? No, about 15 to 20. Is Ty still doing pay it forward? Let's do some pay it forwards here. How hard is real estate? Ty, thanks for the. The HSMA, it's HSMC, but you almost got it. Um, do you believe in giving giveaways for people who return products due to bad quality? Do you, what do you think you should do? I don't, I don't get the question. I think he's saying if something goes wrong, do you, oh, do you yeah. like replace it? I mean, yeah, if somebody, I, I, if somebody asks for a refund, I'm absolutely gonna give it. It's kind of part of like to having To keep good, your ratings yeah, and your reviews Yeah, have good well. customer service. Like. Yeah, so someone buys your slime and they're like, wait a second, slime this slime sucks. is nothing like the high quality slime that I'm used to getting, you give them their money back or do Absolutely. you replace it? No, I give them their money back. Okay, yeah. you don't send them a new slime kit? No, I, I sometimes will, if they seem like they might be persuaded to enjoy my slime, then I will slime them again. I like that, this is a new concept. Ty, this was a great live. Ty, I just got in the e-com agency, Moon Eventi. So here's how it works. You click the link below or you click the link that's on your live stream, or you can go here, or you can go to tylos.com, click on the e click on the ecom agency. We got a secure website, so nobody's gonna see your credit card number. Quickly as you can enter it in, you're gonna be in the members area. Okay? In the members area, you can just start clicking videos. You put a little put your headset in or your ear, you know, if you got a little fancy well, uh, you know, wireless ones, listen to it 10, 20 minutes a day. Start absorbing the information, start taking some action, start talking, noticing businesses around you, make a list, start emailing some people. We have exact scripts of what to say, how to get your first e-com and Amazon agency uh, customer. Chris Munoz said, Ty, I signed up for your HMC in the first two hours. Hey, get this guy, Chris Munoz. He already got a client this month. So he's, I just launched the HSMC Airbnb program. He's already got clients. Cool. Hold on. It is right, Chris Moonote. Cool. And then somebody said, Ty, I just got into your SMMA agency. This is just, I bought your SMMA agency. That's a different program. Damn, these are coming in fast. A few days ago, the content is pretty damn good. Still on phase one. Good. Okay. Let's give away some money. People have been listening for a couple hours. We're gonna do our own Shark Tank. It's called Liz Tank. No, it's not. Let's not use that name. <laughs> I don't want Mark Cuban. I know Mark Cuban. I don't want him mad at me. We'll call. I call it the Investor Show. So, we got our investor, guest judge. 
We're giving away, how much have I given away? Like 300 bucks only? Mm -hmm. 300. 200, I gotta give eight winners 100 bucks each. I got 800 bucks to give away. Oh, I've only given 100 away? Okay, nine people are about to win money. Who has, after listening to this whole thing, we're gonna judge your ideas. We're either gonna give you a boom. I need a gong. Like they used to have a show called the Gong Show. What's some <laughs> bad music? What's a bad song? Like Nickelback or something? <laughs> yeah. You're Canadian. Isn't Nickelback Canadian? What's like the worst song? Rick Roll. Rick Roll. Rick Roll. Every time someone gives a bad idea, what's a good song? What's the best song ever done? Ariana Grande came out with her new song. Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody. That thing's too complicated. No one can sing that. <laughs> we need a song everybody can sing, like Happy Birthday. So, if you have a bad idea, we're gonna. <laughs> okay, what's my good idea one though? To announce the winners. What's a song you like? What's just an epic song? Despacito, Elton John, Gucci Man. Stairway to Hell. Do you mean Stairway to Heaven? <laughs> this dude got the wrong <laughs> location in his song. Ariana Grande, Bad to the Bone by George T. No, not Bruno Mars. He's a great musician, but I'm not. God's Plan by Drake. Didn't that win the best rap in the Grammys? Sicko Mode. What's the song everybody likes? Am I Feeling by Drake? Or a Drake song for sure? How about Kiki? Yeah, Am I Feeling? Yeah, Kiki's a good one. Is that in my feelings? Yeah. That's the real name? Yeah. I just thought it was Kiki. <laughs> Here in my garage, <laughs> remix. Rocket Backstreet Boys, In the Air by Phil Collins. What is the song that literally makes people... No, it's got to be Michael Jackson, dude. Michael Jackson is... Say what you want, the man can make music. How about, I got, how about like House of Pain, Jump Around? Yeah, but Michael Jackson. What's the best mm -hmm. Michael Jackson song? Beat it, man in the mirror. Billie Jean, PYC. So many. Don't stop till you get enough. I'm gonna go with Billie really? Jean. Billie Jean is good. Okay, this announces if this song comes on, you have won a hundred dollars. Okay, so I'm throwing out the ideas right now. What is the best product? to get up on Amazon. You can do it for other businesses. Doesn't even have to be your product. Macarena, no. Plus size clothing for men and women. That's actually a good one. You like that one? Well, it's it's hard to sell because it's a lot of right, different sizes. All right, she gives you Rick Roll. I give you Michael Jackson. They even out. Okay, we need to both agree. Hat racks, cremation jewelry. Oh, please tell me people aren't wearing the dead ashes. Do you like that idea? Garlic press, sex toys. My friend owns sextoys.com. He made 100 million bucks. He also does on Amazon too. I like the hair extensions one. That okay. one sells pretty hot. Yep. Uh, so, some friends of mine have a huge hair. Where is that? Okay. SL canvas. canvas products. You need to post your email address because YouTube is too hard to message you. S hair extensions. All right. 100 bucks. What's a, we need like American Auto, we need some bad ones. I gotta go to the Rick Roll. What's a bad one you've seen? Okay, let's see, bad one. What is it, selling shoes for women? Or here. Let's switch over <laughs> to a different, that was on YouTube. Keep one. Oh, you gotta post your email, the person one. who won, or else we can't send you the money. All right, let's do over here. Drake trophies. Somebody said, you're delusional, bruh. Me? Or maybe they're talking to another person. Use college books. What's that a bad idea? Good. I need a bad idea. A bad idea, let's see. Bad. We can look on, let's look here on Insta. Well, maybe energy drink. You don't like that? It's, it's hard, it's very competitive. It's not that I don't like it, it's just like you need a lot okay. of money. Okay, anarchy, an and if you lose, you have to send the $100 to me <laughs> to give to <laughs> my, my PayPal address. Okay, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're on to the next. Somebody said condoms. I mean, coffins. <laughs> I saw condoms earlier. Did Do you like coffins? Coffins is too big. Like, I don't, I don't like coffins either. Protein powder. Clothing. Too generic. Teddy bears. Posture corrective braces. Those are terrible. So. What? 
posture corrector braces. They're too saturated. Okay, that is a no. You owe me a hundred bucks. Comfy flip flops. Here you go. Bl blue blocker glasses are good. Yes, I actually am an investor in Swanick blue blockers. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna. He's wearing them. We're pitching a company. I'm an investor in Jacob Buchler. Put your email address, Jacob Buchler. I'm going to a different song. We're gonna go here with. Uh, what else are we gonna go with? You know a song that I liked. This was another Michael. We're just doing a lot of Michael Jackson stuff. Um, well, this one. Beat it. Somebody's trying to win stocks. Soldier Boy consoles. Replacement phones. Okay, so that's... Jacob, we've given away 400 bucks. I got six. This, I'm going to start giving away 200 bucks. So I, I don't want to be here this much longer. So $200 so I can get out of here. For, we get three more winners. I'm going to be sick of these songs here. What's a bad one or a good one? What do you see? Bad one or a good one. OK, let's see. I'm pulling up Nickelback for the bad one. Let's go. Let's go. Paint for Kids is a good one. No, I need a bad one. Bad one. Bad one. Be go over here. Sell a new kind of alcohol. That's bad because you can't do yeah, it, right? Yeah, you can't do alcohol. OK. Nickelback. OK, a good one. We're increasing, $300. Let's look over on Insta. Let's look over on Facebook. And let's do Twitter, because I always forget about Twitter. I think everybody on Twitter gave up, because I never went over there. They all switched to YouTube. Sorry. Uh, OK, let's go to, let's go to um, oh wow. They just started pouring in on, damn it. Backpack wallets with notebooks. Teeth whitening. Do you like it's teeth? It's too competitive, yeah. Portable blenders. Aren't all blenders portable, or do you have a very large blender? <laughs> blenders are... Metal straws suck, so you don't want to do that one. Okay, we need winners, because we're going to be here all day. Okay, so we need... Handmade winners. gifts, and they put their email. What's a good one? Come on, I'm trying to give away $300 here. I'm on Facebook. Oh, I'm going to go to my Snapchat in a second, too. Follow my at Ty Lopez Snapchat. So what do you say with 200 bucks? Gaming chairs. Streamers, that, that YouTube. Gaming chairs might actually be a good one. Gaming chairs. Okay, we're going to, here we go. Here we go. We got a winner. And here we go. Damn it. <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody. Okay, it's the wrong song, but it's Freddie it. Mercury. $200 to... Chris Solita. Chris you got Chris Solita. Now, I'm going to my Snapchat right here, at Ty Lopez. I'm pulling up. If you don't follow my Snapchat, this thing is going to go crazy. Watch this. We can break Snapchat. Um, give me... You got... I'm going to start reading a few. Healthy snack machines. I don't think you can sell it. CBD products. Night lamps with zero blue lamp. Go to my Snapchat, 200 bucks. The next winner is on Snapchat. Cody, damn it, it starts to freeze my, it's crazy. You can break inst You can break Snapchat. It's not that hard to break the inbox. Here we start going. Look at that watch. It's not even going yet. One time I had it, it turned into a whole blur. It's insane. <laughs> Jessica, look, just wrote, I got this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got a good, what should we be selling? Steady Hustle, look at that. Damn, okay, I need mechanic videos. Liz is giving you the nickel back. <laughs> reading mask, what is a reading mask? If you wear a mask, you can't read. <laughs> this guy got it back, he put two words together that don't make sense. Reading blindfold, that would be great. <laughs> blindfold just for audiobooks, then you would focus. <laughs> Reading mask. Okay, that's gonna get my nickel back. That's getting the, the brick roll. Mm -hmm. Colors three three three. Wrote nothing. Sell air. <laughs> Damn. Okay, we might have Snapchat might not work anymore. I think Damn. he broke it. Yeah, it breaks. It's insane. Instagram. Okay, I'm gonna switch to Instagram DMs because I think Snapchat has fully collapsed. 
Okay. All right, I'm going to get it. Independent author's books. That's very original. J. Riggs, Metal Roses. Maybe for Valentine's, but. Someone you don't I like. I can't think of a, of a woman that wants a metal rose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but maybe. She's going to club you over the head with it. No, but maybe <laughs> it's a way of breaking up with the girl on Valentine's. It could be a way. Cyanide roses. <laughs> you get rid of your problem immediately. Coffee makers, coffee machines, night lights, canned air. You can't enter more than one. Sneaker cleaning kit. Liz is not a fan. Snap, you're letting me. Taco holders. You know, the, uh, those are actually pretty hot right now. 200 bucks to Kenny H. Wong. Taco. I saw those the other day ago, and it was like they were selling pretty good. They're an easier market to jump into, yeah, too. Believe it or Who not, the heck there's not a taco massive holders, yeah. competitive rush into taco holders. I have not seen a retail store. Taco holders are us. Okay, last one. We're going to my, so that's 400. So now we're at 800 bucks. We're going to my Instagram DMs. I'm going to go into my, because it's going to come into my like spam thing. So I'm going to go into my Instagram spam for the final $200. You, you got to follow my at Ty Lopez Instagram. It's a good way to get followers. People though, Ty, you're just doing this to get followers. Well, I mean, it's possible to do things with multiple reasons. Guys go on dates for multiple reasons. It's not just always for just conversation. <laughs> you know, they, but, but they might be there for the conversation too. You know what I'm saying? Himalayan salt lamps. Business god. This dude is not only good at business, he is a god. What's up, business god? Okay, let's read a few more. A weighted blanket. Weighted blankets actually probably sell very well. All right, we need a yeah, few. Let's, let's give let's them a few. I think we get... So we got it. We got we got weighted blank. What is a weighted blanket? Yeah, it's take a look at it. Better. It's like a it's fat actually... person laying on. Yeah, it's like. Just Am I allowed to say that? It helps you with anxiety and yeah, yeah. It actually is really hot. They they won like they had this huge. They made this huge amount on Kickstarter. Okay, weighted blankets. I've heard it all today. Bamboo uh, plates. Switch out of the toys and games though. Just click on Amazon. Yeah, a handy construction tool. Charcoal teeth whitening. She said she doesn't like that. Come on, it's, where's it's my? It's very saturated. Where's my Instagrammer? Protein candy gum. I actually like that one. Protein gum. Up? I don't uh, know if Amazon's the only Click on this. You see the price? So click on this one right here. $130. Whoa. Whoa. 140 bucks for a blanket. And then let's oh, see the BSR. Throw some sand in it. I'm going to the beach and buying me some blankets. Getting some of the sewn Scroll together. Up to Rick, see this do you BSR? Not he's going to freak no. out. We can make 140 bucks per blanket. <laughs> I'm going to learn how to sew. But get a gym membership okay, and we, we slowly steal 19 weights. 19 in home and kitchen. Oh my God. So, so maybe a thousand dude, a day? This is a thousand bucks a day at 139. That's $139,000 a day. Way to blank it, yeah. To give that guy the money. <laughs> but wait, I have to find that person. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, wait, I think he said. Shoot. Somebody said Hot Wheels. Oh, man, I've gotten too many in here. Hold on. Hold on. What was his name? Scarf. Damn it. I see heated blankets. Oh, I might have lost this person. We're going to have to pick another one. I can't find it. Do you see it? I don't no, know who it was. No, it's on my Instagram DMs. Oh, okay. That is a good, well, y'all just got a badass free idea on, <clears throat> I'm going to Snapchat this. You guys just missed out on a badass uh, Instagram and YouTube live. We just gave, go watch the replay on my Instagram. We figured out these people on Amazon making $139,000 a uh, day with this one product. Go see what it is. Um, Megan Eichelberry says, great idea. How can you compete against Amazon, uh, Amazon and Wish with drop shipping? You'd Don't be just surprised. Compete. You'd be surprised at how yeah. many products are actually drop shipped off in our, in aren't even Amazon. They're third party sellers. Yep. Damn. I want to get out of here, so I need this person. No, I'm not gonna take it because now everybody's just writing antibacterial pillowcases for acne prone skin. That's pretty complicated. Paper straws, car heating pads, rose bears, a buckle free belt, 
lashes, organic pillows, backpacks to charge your phone, vibrating neck pillow, prank kits, soap, pre-workout gum, pre -workout healthy gum. candy playground slides, shoelaces, kids dolls, and doll ass. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I, it cut off. <laughs> I think you meant to say something else. <laughs> Doll ass? Is this, is this? <laughs> okay, bamboo bowls, therapeutic compression socks, blankets with sleeves. <laughs> Remember that thing that people used to wear? <laughs> Snuggies. Snuggies. Snuggies um, is a lot. Who gets this last? I'm struggling to give away this money. I'll tell you what. Just comment on my last post because I'm going to give you guys 10 more, se like 30 more seconds. Saw your video with Grant Cardone. No, we're on Instagram. Just comment on my last post with your ideas on Instagram. Is that a bear made with roses? Is that what some A bear is? made with roses. Messy bun beanies. Are these even things? People just making up. I think people Instagram are... finishing. On Instagram. Okay. Sorry, Instagram. No, you don't need to go live again. Who's got an idea for my instrument? Lashes. We already decomposable water bottles. Somebody just said pop sockets. That used to be super hot. Let's do it. People commenting on my. Just on, comment on any of my Instagram posts. Body suits for women. Body suits for women. Lead dog. LED lock dog dishes. Sleep pillow with nature sounds with built-in speakers. You cannot do weighted blankets. We already had to disqualify that. Hand warmers. Baby gates. How about baby gates? You know baby what? gates are pretty good, but it's very competitive. But they're pretty good. Let's pull up Baby Gates, because I gotta get out of here. I'm get I'm hungry. Baby Gates. That's a, you gotta go to Amazon, the main one. There. There ba you go. Baby goats. Gate not goats. Not baby goats. <laughs> baby gates. Let's go. What's there? Let's go and see. We've been teaching people how to look up the bestseller rankings. Down. Just click on one of them. So there's these a, these will sell pretty well. This in is a baby and pet gate. So if you give birth to a pet, a dog, you are also covered. <laughs> Go down. Uh no 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 no. Oh wait. Yeah here. here. Fourteen thousand maybe. Fourteen thousand. So they're probably okay. selling fifty. I I probably like ten. Ten. Yeah. Compression sleeves that connect your phone. Bed bug spray. Feet softener and app. Feet softener? Ooh, selling recycled straws. <laughs> recycled boxers. Jade roller. Head massager. Those things that you go like that. Those actually do pretty well. Okay, we got a winner because I got to go. Emoji mat underscore. 200 bucks. We're wrapping up. Jump in the program. Click the link below. Price has gone up twice. It's going to go up again. Jump in. I temporarily, literally, before we went live, I told my team, set the price a little bit lower to reward people who take action. So we lowered the price. Click the link below or go to tylerlopez.com slash e-commerce agency, e agency live or just on my website. You'll see that. Get in. It's literally the cutting edge, on the cutting edge of entrepreneurship and things you can do that are realistic. Got to do stuff that's realistic. This is real. Amazon, you partner with the richest man in the world. Richest man it's in history. It's pretty simple, right? Even after he gets divorced. He's still going to do all right. Fourth, and then his wife will move into his ex-wife in the top something, top 10, top 20. But you know what? He may rise right back up again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he'll be richest man again at some point. Amazon's a beast of a company. Partner with it. There's an old saying, if you can't beat them, join them. Build an e-com agency and an Amazon agency to start. Don't just start putting your own products on there. That costs more money, takes more experience. Do it for other businesses that already have their own products. That's what an e-com and an Amazon agency is. 30 lessons in there in the full program. We got the quick start. Everyone starts with the white belt quick start, and then you can decide if you want to go for the four month certification. Click the link below. We gave away a thousand bucks on the investor show. Thank you for being an investor. Investing your time and energy. She's leaving cold New York and headed to balmy Miami. You have a tough life. Tough Very life. tough. Very tough, tough life. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Boom.